Welcome to the bracket. I think we're on episode 82 today. We are doing the best, so we'll say celebrity runs, although we're going to get a little more broad with it as we go. Uh, today, no Francis, no Tommy Smokes. I think they're catching fish or something. Tommy is. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what Francis is doing, but we have uh, in replacement, we got Rudy, Mush, and Clemmer. Yes. It's basically a mainstay at this point. I'm here whenever you ask me to come. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I like that. Love that. Boy. Nick, you had a new idea for the bracket? Yeah. <laughs> Hit it, boy. Oh, um, I think we keep who submitted what secret, and if it wins, you get some sort of trophy until the next show. Oh, so if you submit the winning submission, you win. I like we'll it. Wait, what are we saying? So, whoever submits the whatever option wins, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. What if anonymous. it's like a Twitter user or something? He gets it, he gets it, yeah. All right, As that or one. she, but who we kidding? Yeah, who, who <laughs> uh, let's try that out next week. We'll, we'll, we'll boot it up. Not wrong. this week, you say. Yeah, not whoever this. wins this week doesn't get. We that have too many. Everything's. It's like Twitter, Nick and Che, and uh, I think I believe one of yours and one of yours, maybe. Yeah, fucked up. You know, I always let Clemmer bring some in, and then I just never use them, or I, I put them funny in running bit. Spot. It's, it's hysterical. Like Matt Damon. Damon. Keep coming, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, First, we can start out with our first matchup of the day. The first is the five versus the 12. The five seed is Adam Sandler, who's won too many of these brackets till I ever, I never want him to win again. But he has, uh, from 1995 to 1999, he has- Give us the list. SNL, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, with a Wedding Singer, Dirty Work, The Water Boy, and Big Daddy, all in a row. Jeez, come on. Just an unbelievable stretch that he had there. And he's going up against the number 12 seed, Bo Jackson. Who's there on you your go. That's one of mine. Bo Jackson, who was on your list, right? What was yeah. Bo Jackson's run? It was like <laughs> 86, 86 to, to 90. Yeah, that's fair. 86 to 90. He had 2,800 yards, 5.4 yards per carry over Jesus. four years. That's pretty damn good. Uh, he was an MLB All-Star, 420 home run se- uh, seasons, 220 stolen base seasons, 100 RBI season. But he was everywhere. His Bo knows. You know, that commercial. Also, he was in a cartoon with Wayne Gretzky and Michael Jordan, and no one thought it was weird. So no one's like, oh, he doesn't belong there. Everyone assumed he was just as great as Michael Jordan and Wayne Gretzky. Mm-hmm. He's on the level. Jay, I'll, you start out because I feel like you're a good litmus test for this. Yeah, no, this is great. Bo Jackson, uh, I think it was 85 or 86. Clemmer, maybe you can correct me. It was the number one overall pick at Tampa Bay Buccaneers and never played a game for them. So fuck that guy. I, anybody but him. And Adam Sandler, also, I mean, that's a five seed. That's an incredible resume. It seems like he almost hasn't done anything since then, but he's had a lot of great movies and has done a lot with like Netflix. He hasn't since. done it. You literally got nominated for an Oscar. Mm-hmm. I mean, Uncut Gems for sure, but like, what are Adam Sandler's other big movies since oh. then? Like, hey, were these movies these, big? Yeah, were they the successful in the box? They were financially successful. Okay. They were? Yeah, not like blew it up like a fucking Avenger. They're not like instant something. classics. Yeah, Big maybe. Daddy made a show of them. So they yeah. were in my t- t- like 12. Did we're like forty year olds and thirty year olds enjoying these movies like we did as twelve year olds? Yeah, I I believe not really. I mean, I remember. I, I, said, <laughs> I, I mean, I saw Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore in the theaters, and like it was all like teenage boys. Like like you know, I was like 13, 14. Yeah, okay. Like it was like, there were no adults, and adults would like and get annoyed with Adam Sandler. You should never stupid. say teenage boys. Yes. I was a teenage boy. <laughs> I know, but just the way you say, the way you look, just <laughs> <Or> <laughs> something or something about it. It was didn't feel right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I was a child once. Uh, no, you were born exactly during the like Great Depression. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a long time ago, but I was. Uh, Mr. Deeds, two hundred million. Jesus, oh, two hundred million. Wait, is that a lot? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, That's a lot for a comedy. A okay. His worst movies. It's like what Jaws worst, Two did. Yeah, his best movies made the least money. Like Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, I think are his two best, and they didn't make that much money. Daddy, two hundred thirty-four million dollars. Comedies just aren't a thing anymore, huh? No, like, no. you don't do them anymore. Like it's like The Hangover and like Step Brothers, and after that, yep. stop. highest grossing movie is Hotel yeah. Transylvania, one point three billion dollars. It's his highest grossing He's movie. The voice of He's the voice of Dracula. Oh, and he, that, uh, he also like, count. but he produced it. I think he co-wrote it. Hotel uh, Transylvania. He was really involved with the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's animated. For- that had that many. What? One point like, what? Like Twenty iterations of it at this. Point. Kid movies are a cheap. Yeah, they long. go crazy. I didn't know that many movies. Besides were Mars and his moms that flopped. Uh, uh, Pixels Click better. is up there. Click. Neither of these are in this run, but like two hundred forty-four million for Pixels, which uh, what Pixels is was dog shit. When was Eight Crazy Nights? Uh, it had to be around oh. there too. Probably a little before, like oh three, maybe. Uh, no, I'd say that's that. I had to have flopped. Let's see. I love that shit. I did too. 
I thought that was cool. It's an animated Hanukkah oh. movie. I mean, yeah. you're not expecting that to make. What's the old dude? He's like technical foul. Yeah, technical yeah. foul. He's covered in hair. I yeah. think that one did very well. Yeah, I do too. Cost 34 million, made 23 million. No. How does that cost James? 34 million? I have no fucking clue. I think a lot of us have rose tinted glasses. For yeah, us. definitely. I we like definitely that movie. do. Because if like, man, I don't know. If like Happy Gilmore came out today, would people be like, that was awesome? I don't think it's really I would. Funny. It's, it's, it's funny. More, I rewatch it and I still think it's funny. Not I think a comedy evolves so quickly that yeah. it, it, that it's run hard yeah. to. If you fight Bob Barker, I'm gonna honestly. Yeah. I think the weird thing for me is like picturing Happy Gilmore now. Uh, it, movies are too HD to be funny nowadays. Like I liked how Whoa. they they used to yeah. uh, like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> it, it was like clear you could see it. But it, nowadays, like you're kind of right. Dumb, but he's a hundred. Yeah, you're, oh, you're very right. If it's too today. nice quality, it's ever seen an Ice Spice music video? She has the most frame rate out of any video. Well, I've one ever with her, Nicki Minaj. I, I got like a vertigo. Yeah, yeah. it's too clear. Yeah. Dude, I watched Curb the first season yesterday, and it's like grainy as fuck, and it's and so pictures. funny. And then I watched season uh, ten or eleven, and it's literally like it just doesn't look real. It's so clear. Yeah, yeah like, Trailer Park like Boys, I think, is a big offender. Right. That or yeah. The Office, yeah. similar. The office. Like all the Jason Sudeikis era comedies, everyone looks to, and also you add in the fact that they have better like uh, makeup and everything. Like Jason's, I shouldn't be seeing Jason Sudeikis look this crystal clear. It just makes it less funny. It's like weird to me. I can. It's more clear than off of the television screen. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Two hundred million for you. Don't mess with the Zohan. I liked. I. I, I like that pleasure one. for me. I, I fucked with. Don't mess with the Zohan. So, uh, what was the one he did with uh, where he went to camp with David Spade and Kevin James? Grown ups. Grown ups. That's a, those made so much money. A lot of money. Those made like insane amount of money. Yeah, these the other ones, all the early Happy Gilmore or uh, Happy Madison stuff made money though. So you know, okay, they made like thirty million dollars. Yeah, but like, that's which, good for a company. Oh, no, it was now. great. It cost twelve to make it, made thirty. But compared to Big Daddy making two hundred million, that's even big... now a comedy making thirty million would be surprising because yeah. like they just don't come out. You're like so that. right about the kids thing, by the way. Whoever said that, like, like the kids' movies are cheat code because oh yeah, basically yeah. just like let's just get our kids to shut up for two hours. One kid goes. That's bucks. three tickets sold, probably. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick, um, who's the closest running back? Ah, oh, but he did base. That's crazy. And there's other actors. I'm going Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. It's probably Dion, right? So I'm run like that. Yeah. Dion. Yeah. yeah. I'm sitting in the Francis seat, so I'm gonna maybe pull a Francis here and be like, "What is the? What are we trying to do here?" So like Bo Jackson. <laughs> oh God, yeah. here we go. Bo Jackson is had like a short run and like, but then kind of vanished right because he's you know his hips oh. were gone right. Where Adam Sandler, his run, like it's not just those five years. Like he he was he's still a major star today. Like his Netflix deal is huge. Mm-hmm. So like, I mean, it's you know what I mean. So like, is but it's like quality, right? So like, there's years that that Bo uh, Bo Jackson played baseball outside of ninety or whatever it was, eighty eight to ninety two. Right. Played until like ninety six, but those years he sucked or wasn't playing. Right. 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 So like, you're included. Uh, we're only doing the run. Like the, right. I guess it's more like period. is it. And this is, I promise this is the last time I'll do this because it's annoying, I'm sure, to hear. But I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. So we're not looking for just people who are almost like fat, like human fads. We're looking for just who had this great peak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In this period. which right, one, That's the case. The most impressive kind of like, wow, look at like that it's banger, trash. banger, banger. Right. It doesn't matter if they were successful after they were, it's, that was the greatness. Yeah. yeah. Then I got to go Sandler. Then you go Sandler. Ready? Yeah. I mean, I, Bo Jackson obviously is impressive, but I don't know that much about him. So I'd, I'd, I, if I picked him, I wouldn't really make a ton of sense. So I, I'm going to go Sandman just because it's the one I know better. Sandman. Sandler was very impactful to me. Mm-hmm. I think anyone near our age. Yeah. Same Sandler. Bo Jackson, like, stick to one sport, dude. <laughs> oh, no, it was, it was an incredible. I we'll mean, what was he we'll, winning? What was we'll what, what, during his run? What were his awards? He went to an all-star game, but it was more just the cultural impact. Like the Bo Nose was everywhere. He was the biggest. Like I said it was Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, and Bo Jackson. He was the biggest. Yeah. See, when I sent the list over to Ken Jack, I thought it was more just like people who were almost like human fads, like who had this amazing. I think I put Macaulay Culkin in there. Brian Bosworth. He had this, <laughs> no, because he wasn't. He was a bust. But like, I don't think you're wrong. Like what you're Macaulay describing Culkin is correct. was a correct. superstar yeah. for a really yeah. short time, and then was gone. It's a remarkably impressive stretch he had. Like he was, no one has right. ever come close. I thought that was more that what level. we were trying to do than yeah. necessarily the best of a great person. I mean, his was only one franchise, though, wasn't it? Who? 
Macaulay Culkin. He's in Uncle Buck. He's in um, My Girl. Is he rich? Yeah. I haven't heard of any of those. I haven't heard of those. You ever heard of Uncle Buck? No. Uh, Uncle Buck's like an all time. Oh, it's a John Candy. Huge great movie. Which one does he get funny. stung to bees by death? My Girl. My girl. Okay. Which one's the one where he's like in a house? Party Monster? There's glasses. <laughs> and, like, Party Monster was older. That was 2002 ish. Brother's a dickhead. There's a train. Good Son? Was that him? Was that Haley Joel Osment? In which one? Never mind. Doesn't Are matter. Brother's about Home Alone? Huh? Rudy? Brother, you think it of Home Alone? Yeah, that's the Are one. You see, I thought you were fucking around. Yeah. I was, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew you, you were. Had, yeah, I know you're not. You really right. haven't heard of Uncle Buck? No, I actually haven't. Oh, that's just a great movie. Yeah, very good. Um, all right, next up is the four versus 13, the four seed. Kanye West, 2004 to 2016. College dropout, late Jeez. registration, graduation, 808s and heartbreaks, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, Watch the Throne, Yeezus, Life of Pablo. Ah, damn. I mean, that's just lumping in his discography, I guess, kind of. Yeah, but that is, and then also he does um, Yeezys during this too. Like he is the guy until he's not. Yeah, basically. Um, so Kanye is going up against the number thirteen. Thirteen is Matthew McConaughey from two thousand eight to two thousand fourteen. Tropic Thunder, Lincoln Lawyer, Magic Mike, Dallas Buyers Club, Wolf of Wall Street, Interstellar, True Detective, Eastbound and Down. He won Best Actor for uh, Dallas Buyers Club during this stretch, and before that, he was kind of like a joke. If that makes sense, like a rom com dude. Huge. What do they call this era? This the McConaughey resurgence. What do they call it? It's hard. Say McConaissance. McConaissance. Okay. <laughs> Connaissance. I like that. What? I knew we'd know. <laughs> so, uh, Mush, which one do you want, Kanye want or Matthew McConaughey? Very clear that this is till 2016, Kanye. Correct? Yes. yes. Not and nothing now. after that. Okay, it's Kanye. It's Kanye. Kanye was unbelievable. During those times. Dude, I was ranking his albums on Facebook. I didn't know shit about them. <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> yeah, my beautiful dark twisted. Yeah, I would always put that number always one. one. I only know like two songs. Never on listened it. to Kanye West. Yeah. It's probably str- stronger. Is that it? Yeah, great. Yeah. Song. That's the only one. But I was like, my beautiful dark twisted. Yeah, I always say, I always abbreviate it with the acronym yep. and then say, yeah, that's it runs fucking circles over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's still, it's Kanye. It's Kanye, Rudy. What was the what was the range on uh, McConaughey again? Uh, the McConaughey is two thousand eight to two thousand fourteen. I don't even know. I don't even want. It doesn't matter. I mean, Kanye is that that those albums are incredible. Like, it, it's incredible. You can't beat it. McConaughey was someone I was hoping would be in this. That era of him was a was super sick. But like, you just cannot beat that longevity and like different genres and everything. So trying to think about it in terms of like if matthew mcconaughey got cast in something in that era i'd be like oh cool but like if i heard kanye was dropping an album or like yes. he was featuring on something i'd be like oh shit i want to listen to this so i think like before mcconaughey did that like he was just like a rom-com was yes that. yeah that's all he was he wasn't not going to be an award-winning actor he was just a hunk yeah he, he took i guess i i saw like a video of him talking about it and he was saying that he was like just keep doing that forever and then eventually he was like, I don't want to do this. Like, I want to be serious. And he took like two years off and didn't know if he was going to get a role. And then finally got one. I can't remember which. Ken Jack, you probably know better than this. But he like took a Lincoln huge, Lawyers, uh, yeah, the he took the a most huge gamble. And it turns out he's actually a pretty fucking sick actor. His book's hilarious. Have you heard really? any? It's it's unintentionally oh. very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how fast it fell for him, though. Like he had that run. And he hasn't really done anything. In, he did like, a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. yeah. What did he do? Fucking Dark Tower garbage movie. What was yeah. the one gold? Was that it? The one, the one where he did the it was like a minor or Fool's something. Gold? No, no, no Fool's, Fool's Gold's good. Fool's Gold goes crazy. Wait, I confuse no. Fool's Gold with Sahara. Yeah, they're the same movie. They're they're they they're yeah, basically the same movie. Um, Dad, Dad, oh Serenity, one of the worst movies of all time. Holy shit! Uh, it's a movie where he's um he's a it's the big twist is that it's actually a video game being played by a kid and the kid is playing his dad playing as his dad who's played by matthew mcconaughey and he has sex with his mom via his dad in this video game oh God. it's really fucking weird and terrible and awful yikes oh. a lot of they bad really, do you think they care at this point though like when connie has done so well you think yeah. they care when they have a flop like adam sandler yes puts out a ton of Netflix he doesn't care because they're care. supposed to be bad but if sandler if like mcconaughey is doing a drama you think and they like care? i think he cares yeah, way more than sandler's cares. i think he definitely yeah, if you think cares. about like putting what months of work into that every day it's Oh yeah, I, I was I genuinely. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I some don't of them. Know. Sandler some brings them his don't. Break, to man. Hawaii to make fucking yeah. like ridiculous break, six. He doesn't be Halloween shit. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't like fall off crazy. Like those, those were some bad movies. But no one was like McConaughey was awful. They were just bad. No, just scripts. bad picks. Yeah. yeah, but he did Gentleman. That he was. Yeah, I liked the Gentleman. That was tight. A lot. 
That was a good I liked, movie. That was, that was a plain movie for me. Uh, great plain movie. It is. Yeah, that's a great plain movie. It really is. Uh, I mean, honestly, fuck, dude. True Detective. True Detective. He's almost very good. eclipses. This is the run that got him into that. No, he was in it. It's part of his run. Oh, it's True Detective is part of that run? It's the end cap of that Oh, run. nice. Yeah, yeah, that was insane. Oof. Anyway, I still got to go Kanye. It's a tough matchup. Kanye's... Yeah, you can't let like, dark twisted alone, boy. Kanye's four. <laughs> 808's is slept on. Yeah. Yeah. Kanye's four. Kanye. People don't understand it. It was ahead of its time. So Kanye's a four. I mean, it's going to be... T- Kanye's probably the best musician of the 21st century, right? Like, how's anyone going to... Wow. Rihanna, maybe? I'd still say Kanye. I mean, I, she also quit music for like the last like, fucking however long, many years. This is going to be awfully oh, tough for anyone to beat Kanye. But I, I got to go Kanye. <laughs> I feel like McConaughey is more true to the soul of what we're doing here, but mm-hmm. I mean, you got to go greatness. Kanye, Nick? Dude, I think I know two Kanye West songs. It, it, that's what? almost impossible. It yeah, it is impossible. That's it's almost impossible. <laughs> like Longer, if we played him, you know. And I know the... um. You take my money. Yeah. Okay. Gold <laughs> digger. Those are, I know two Kanye West songs. Oh, you know man. more though. Like, yeah, you do. I promise you. I well, I probably would if you played yeah, them, but yeah. I can't name them off the top of my head. Right. Okay. Um, but my beautiful dark, dark twisted fancy was a masterpiece, front to back. <laughs> you know, uh, Mincy's in Paris. Oh, I know Mincy's in Paris. Yeah. Mincy's in Paris. <laughs> 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 the kids bop version. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine we did the kids pop one. Oh. Do they um, still make those? If that music cued in, you just hear Mincy's. Were these albums, like, was, was every single one like number one? All oh, there are like so many Billboard toppers. It's crazy. Yeah, they were. They all were incredibly good. Mm. All right, I'll go with it this round. Kanye, yeah. Jay, we're gonna skate to one song and one song only. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's been waiting for that. So, one. Uh, uh, when Barcel moved to New York, Kanye was so cool that there was uh, a bunch of people got tickets to like a sweet level at MSG, and I think like a half a dozen people went, and they were dubbed Club Cool because that was like the thing to do. Um, that year, uh, Kanye was on tour, and 2016 is the exact fall off because I had tickets to see him at Barclays on New Year's Eve, and I think it was in Sacramento or something like that. He went like crazy and just like left the stage and. Mm-hmm completely became unraveled at that yeah. point uh but yeah during that phase what was it 2003 2004 2004 to 2016 that's, it was that's a long time it's a long but he was career he was, he was the, the top, top guy artist like, the whole time the whole yeah like everything was great uh so it's got to be kanye mm-hmm. that was club cool at barstool yeah so now that's what we call the yak uh, it was actually not that many. I think Big Cat did go, but I don't think it was anybody else. Mm-hmm. All right, next matchup as Kanye wins is number eight seed, Britney Spears. Britney Spears getting in from 1999 to 2003. Uh, albums are Baby One More Time, Oops, I Did It Again, Britney, and In The Zone. You get the songs, Britney, uh, Hit Me One More Time, Womanizer, Gimme More, Oops, I Did It Again, Womanizer, Slave For You, I did Womanizer twice, and uh, Criminal. A lot of great songs. Not Lucky. Lucky for sure. I love Lucky. It also just wasn't in the top charts mm. for this grouping, but a great song. Uh, and she's going up against the number nine seed, kind of a buzzsaw. Will Ferrell, 2001 to 2010. Uh, Zoolander, Old School, Elf, Anchorman, Kicking, Kicking and Screaming, Wedding Crashers, the produ- uh, no, not the producers, Talladega Nights, uh, Blades of Glory, Semi Pro, Step Brothers, and the other guys. Jesus Christ. The fucking real buzzsaw. Uh, che. I see his appeal and some of the stuff he does is, is good. I'm not a big Will Ferrell guy. Uh, Britney Spears, I mean, 99 to 2003, that is instant boner. So uh, you got to go her. I like the reasoning. It works perfect for what we're doing here. Whichever one of these people gave me a boner. I mean, in that time period, like, forget it. She was the top. <laughs> Will Ferrell. Or sorry, Britney Spears. Will Ferrell is giving, <laughs> Will Ferrell's giving me more boners. And <laughs> honest. I think that Will Ferrell run of movies was more impactful to me than the Sandler run that we had previously mm-hmm. talked about. Me Anchorman, too. you were the funny guy in class if you just knew the Sport, most Anchorman yeah. lines. Yeah, I memorized the the soundtrack. Name is Step Brothers. CD, <laughs> and he would talk before each. Was a fresh faced thirty two year old, and I still had the wonder lost. What is this? What? <laughs> he had a he. They dropped an album that you could listen to on CD, and he would speak before each each track came on. And oh my god, it was beautiful. Uh, sorry. So, Jeff. uh, Farrell, Will Farrell, Will Farrell, Clemmer. Yeah, I mean, Will Farrell is more impactful to me. I enjoyed his movies more, but 
Britney Spears was much more culturally like she like that was that changed everything like for pop music and like Britney Spears was so so giant. I gotta go Britney. Britney Spears. Sorry, I keep doing this. What was the the stretch of Britney again? Britney was um two thousand and or sorry 1999. Yeah. And what do you have like what's what albums were that or like songs? It was Baby One More Time, Oops I Did It Again, Britney, and In the Zone. The songs were Baby One More Time, Womanizer, Give Me More, Oops I Did It Again, Slave for You, and Criminal. Slave for You, maybe that was. Yeah, that seems more recent. I no, Slave for You is part of this grouping, but it's oh. just the more I think about it, that was a I, weird song. <laughs> I want to go Feral because it, it meant more to me, but like. Britney at that time, I remember, I mean, I was super young, but I just knew that she like it was like worldwide, like truly like worldwide. So I, I, I got to give it to Britney. I just wouldn't feel right if I didn't. Three for Britney. KB. Yeah, I don't really remember Britney. You remember Toxic. Yeah. Kind of like we're walking down like the, the aisle, aisle, the airplane I aisle. Being played the body in recent seat. history. Loud, huge, man. Yeah. You guys don't, you <laughs> don't remember Britney like. I guess it was 99. So how old would you have been? I was when did she six. shave her head? Probably Wait, 06? Four at the end of this. <laughs> it was at the end of this. this yeah, yeah oh, oh, 06, I, I think. That's oh, I start rem- I know those songs, obviously. That's why. So You don't? I, I, I don't. I know her, obviously. Like, I know how amazing she was and how big she was. But, like, I remember all, unfortunately, the bad things that were happening. I remember I had her gut milk poster, and I used to put it up to my window to have. I remember like, that to poster try to see her nipples. <laughs> I just remembered I have a fucking Britney Spears tattoo. Yeah, fuck you do. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot that. To play this. <laughs> Thank God I picked Britney. I I literally what just remembered. It? It's uh Britney from Hit Me Baby One More Time on my thigh. You got her with massive jugs. Huge jugs. <laughs> Jeez. Huge jugs. It's a sort of a creative take on her. Very super creative. Yeah. yeah. If you could I, improve one thing about her at the time. Yeah. Jeez. So. Uh, KB. Will Ferrell was everything to me for that, that amount of time. So, yeah, I have to go. Three to two in favor of Brittany. Mush? I'm tying it up. Will Ferrell. Tying it up. Because, I, 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 he, again, he was literally yeah. every single thing to me of any movie. He's, and all those movies still play to me. You could watch. I go watch Step Hours. Yeah, I feel like those hold up a little bit more. Other guys, I could watch a trillion times. The other oh, yeah. guys is the funniest. Movie it might be one of the yeah. Time. It might be one of the funniest. So good, fucking ever. funny. The ballerina oh. bit is like, <laughs> yeah. Me and my friends, it's not even Will Ferrell, but we still are like, "How's your wife? She's dead. At a boy." Yeah, that's yeah. It's the smallest yeah. part in that movie, but it's so fucking funny. I rewatched the Eva Mendez scenes. All she's so hot. Mm-hmm. Just because, no, like when I was that when I was 2010. That was like, <laughs> no, hot. Nick, no, yeah. she's her performance. BS yeah. Nude like gave her a puff, she fake made me pussy, laugh, man. Yeah, yeah, she made me laugh like nobody could. Yeah. <laughs> she was, she was very good in that. Um, I also love her in Too Fast, Too Furious. Didn't know she was in that. Such yeah. a cool character. <laughs> there is a scene in Training Day where you can see her boobs. Oh, nice. I know what yeah, you mean, Steve. though, Nick. When she's going back and forth, funny. like with the grandma and stuff, and they're talking to each Very other. Funny, funny, it's hysterical. She, she like screams at him. Get out, Alan. Yeah. She got fingered was... by Joaquin Phoenix in a movie. Really? Yeah. Oh, quickly. It was quickly into the movie. It was the first <laughs> scene. Oh, I thought he was okay. fingering her. Yeah, he was. It was Ace a of weirdly fingers. ferocious. It was like a Tommy gun. <laughs> Getting looked at. What movie was that? Or too horny. Of the the cinephiles don't know. What movie? Where are the was cinephiles that? at. I can't even think of a movie where they were both in. Um, yeah. But we do have a tie. <laughs> yeah, I'm misremembering that. <laughs> we do have a tie. Gooch and our intern. You guys get to pick who's going to move on. <laughs> oh. We're going Britney. Yeah, we're going Britney. You guys are going Britney. Britney's going to move on. She was even bigger than any of the boy bands in sync. A- any of those. She she was just the biggest thing in, in culture. Yeah. And I feel like if I'm thinking of Will Ferrell and Britney, like who would gather a larger crowd at their peak? Oh, Britney. In like a street Britney. or something. Not even close. Britney without a yeah. uh, without a doubt. Uh, now we have our number one seed versus our 16 seed chain. We'll do the chain game first. Uh, the first option in the chain game. And I'm, I'm curious how you guys react to this, but The Rock. The Rock had a had a run, and I listed it as not tw- to me. <laughs> I'm right, just saying. Skip it. <laughs> uh, 2016 to 2022, as as what I listed it as. Are you watching the finger blasting scene? Yeah, right I found it. it's the movie We Own the Night, and it's oh, on pornography channels. It's on X videos. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and they, oh, they kiss and all that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Already look, check it. I don't double check. Honestly, double check. You just, I heard the noise. Like, what oh, are you doing? Ad pop up says go from three inches to 4.6. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, she, sh- oh, nipple, nipple. <laughs> nipple. <laughs> Jeez. See, everyone's talking about training day, and this movie is here. Hmm. Uh, so we have The Rock 2016 to 2022, Moana 
Then Jumanji one and two both very successful. Ballers, the TV show on HBO, pretty successful. That sucked. No, no, people like people like ballers. Ballers People like ballers. Like ballers. Love ballers. Oh, I love ballers too. That is made. That is made for you. Yeah, Yeah. that is is made for you. Trading information in sports. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a good. It's an easy watch. Yeah. But that's on your Starring run. That was with the, like the fifth or sixth most popular HBO show at the time, right? Like, yeah, what, that was like bottom of the not, barrel. HBO. This is not <laughs> something to put in your resume for but your people great like run. It. People like it. Well, not not enough. Isn't it get canceled? Uh, after like three seasons, though. All right, great. Yeah, three season running. Mostly because the rest of them. <laughs> they were being like, "Oh, great, The yeah. Rock is great. not so balling." That's because all of them went on to do bigger things too. Because like The Rock went on and did way, way larger scale projects, and John David Washington became like the guy. So it all kind Nepotism, of Nepotism dude Yeah <laughs> uh, Then he also had Terramana Tequila Which is a Very successful you, ha- you just had to do this I, I, I had to I put it in band. He's the highest paid actor In the world for like How I don't even know How many of these years like It's happening three. again Every I feel like this area yeah. Behind Nick and Che This this lobby yeah. Has become can we, just, can, we, can we yell at them Give them what a good yell it's, what, is, like, what, what is this project We're becoming things on. I don't like What is the thing With the, the people uh, The, the, the kids <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we were forced <laughs> to do that. Oh, did Edwin just have a fucking highlight reel? Yeah, yeah he did. Looks sick. He went off the Great. light between the legs. It it's every time we record now. Really there's just cool. like this always... giant fucking disturbance in the hall in the lobby. What do they call when the the kids all do crazy things with sports? <laughs> you two, help me out. Like trick perfect. shots? No, that group of guys. Dude, perfect. perfect. Thank you. This is yeah. like dude, perfect behind us. No, it's not because they're not doing anything impressive. Oh. Edwin just kind of did. Yeah, was good. I, I think you guys are kind of like haters. It's whatever. It wouldn't show that on Dude Perfect. No, you could do something more impressive. Oh, than that. Way more impressive. Yeah. Why is it always right here? I don't know. There's so many other spots they could be going, but I'm glad they did it here. I don't care. Um, but yeah. Anyway, The Rock. Be a curmudgeon. Yeah. 2016. Yeah. 2016 fine. <laughs> 2022. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Majors from 2020 to 2022. Uh, he had a bunch of great movies: The Five Bloods, The Heart of They Fall, Devotion, Ant Man, The Lost Creed, Three, Lovecraft, uh, Country or County, and Loki. And then he this got, was just his career before it came to a. Screen. There was more before that, but oh. none, they weren't as successful. Sorry. Uh, Taylor Sheridan from 2015 to 2018, Sicario, Hell or High Water, Wind Listen, River, Yellowstone. I love his movies, and everyone does. Yeah. Great movies. Orlando Bloom from 2001 to 2007. Jesus. I can't like, get an angle on it. I can't get an angle on it. I'm sorry, man. Jesus Christ, guys. So I got the table in the way. We have we have these actors. That- Orlando Bloom, 2001 to 2007. Black Hawk Down, the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. Troy, Kingdom of Heaven, Par- Pirates of the Caribbean 1 and 2. Both Jesus these, All of these Christ. incredibly successful, both financially and critically. Um, uh, Everybody knew this was going to happen. Yeah, I'm sorry, really Nick. did. Uh, and this one, I think you'll approve of this, Clemmer. All right. John Cazale. Oh, yeah. I mean, this this should be. I mean, I, it's hard to say. To, yeah. I mean. So John Cazale is an actor. He was. He had five. John Cazale, by the way. Oh, so it's Cazale. Yeah, I think it's Cazale. But anyway, he had um, five movies from 72 to 76. The Godfather, The Conversation, The Godfather Part Two, Dog Day Afternoon, The Deer Hunter. The four movie, four of those movies combined for 40 Oscar nominations and 15 wins. Oh, every single movie he was on Cazale. Cazale. Yeah. Every single movie he was in was uh, nominated for Best Picture. He was um, Fredo in Godfather. Yeah. He, the, so we see the reason these things were nominated, though? He was like a, a, a primary supporting actor in all. Yeah. It was none of the movies were ever his. So like Dog the Afternoon was Pacino. The Godfather movies were the Godfather. And then Deer Hunter is De Niro. Yeah. But he was in he's a great supporting actor. Um, forty Oscar wins between four movies is yeah. or five movies is crazy. But I will say he was never nominated for an Oscar, right? He was never. Uh he was also dating Meryl Streep at the time. He passed away right Ooh. at the end of this this run. Yeah. Of, That's like, the a best big, way to end a run like that. That's yeah. a big yeah, He died of cancer very Whoa. young. Yeah, yeah, Streep had it. Streep. These movies wow. averaged ninety six percent on yeah. Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. All of these five combined. Uh so wait, so I'm trying to think of what that carries over to moviewrankings.net. You guys gave <laughs> very uh, good. That's like an eight hundred and fifty. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Mariah carries boobs. Yep. What? Do you need explaining? I'm, what was the run? Uh, just Mariah Carey. No. Strictly her tits. What did her boobs I, I, she, do? I don't think of her as like a tit woman. Me neither. Like her <laughs> being a voice. She's one of the best voices in all of pop. She's a she fat. She's definitely. A, she's a the fat tit woman. <laughs> what? I kind of get where you're coming from. I just think of her as like the all time one of the best voices in pop singing history i don't, I don't really i don't know Never it's like the yin and yang of dudes that are prison strong like feidelberg's prison strong correct correct yeah strong yeah uh denny villeneuve from 2013 to now prisoners enemy sicario arrival blade runner dune one nine Who's oscar this? wins director. director 
directed a bunch of great movies. And then he never Megan, won an Oscar himself, though. Uh, his movies have yeah, got won technical nine wins. awards. I'm just saying. I mean, movies he made. Did, did any of those movies even get nominated for Best Picture? Uh, yes. Did yeah, you? I think like Dude. three of these did. Okay. Uh, Megan Fox from 2004 to 2009. Run. Uh, Confessions of a de- Teenage Drama Queen, Transformers, Jennifer's Body. But like, it's beyond that. It's a long run of It Girl. Yeah, it was a. It's more not necessarily just the movie's quality. It's just like she was the person human being on mm-hmm. earth for that period she managed to do that without being like talented yeah okay uh <laughs> hold up i don't think she's a good actress at all terrible actress i don't know how to tell if someone's good <laughs> that's, right. yeah, I, I honestly Wait, god damn it i don't know if i do either. yeah i don't know if no I do one either. that's when people say she's just <laughs> like me ranking no Kanye one knows <laughs> yeah you just don't know if someone's a good actor or not you do you know if someone's believable on screen or no, not. i think i can because you don't know who they are I confuse somebody yelling with good acting. If somebody yeah. yelling in a scene, I'm like, wow. Speaking of which, that's pretty much what Shia LaBeouf did for all of Transformers, which is run and yell. And I was like, this guy's great. Shia LaBeouf was a very late removal from this list. I considered him heavily. I had him from 2000 to 2019. Freaks and Geeks, Even Stevens, Holes, iRobot, Constantine, Disturbia, Transformers, Lawless. Um, Shia LaBeouf was in it. We have Geeks. to put a Kenny Boy, Peanut Butter Falcon. Run. Yeah, that's that's partially why I disinclude. I didn't include him. Um, but okay, so Marty, you're up first. Chan, what's your pick? The Rock, uh, Jonathan Majors, Taylor Sheridan, Orlando Bloom, John Cazale, Mariah Carey's boobs. Uh, Denny Villeneuve and Megan Fox. That run from Mariah Carey's boobs is like what do you 95 mean? to press. What did her tits do? Yeah, what did they? What was their stat line? Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a run, though. What are you basing? <laughs> oh, was there like a, a was there a photo shoot? Was there a scene that you're talking? Thinking any of? scene? You saying there were over scenes great. that she was in? Dude, anytime you see Mariah Carey, tits are popping. <laughs> it's great. But there's... I mean, one that it's not. But if that's what we're doing, then Michael Jordan should win this. He, I'm, he, I nominated. He has him. no titties at all. No. <laughs> yeah. Arguably negative, in the titty department. That's true, I guess it's like twenty-eight years of just like consistently great boobs. What do you think about Dolly Parton? I mean, they're fake. I don't think they are. Giant Salma fakers. Hayek. Yeah, that could certainly be nominated too. Throw that in. This is like a best boobs bracket, I guess. I mean, Mariah Carey has been consistent. <laughs> Bush, which one do you want out of this? Have you seen them bear? (laughs) On fake sites, yes. (laughs) Look at AI, Mariah Carey. Can I confess one thing? Yes. I've always, uh, it's going to sound dumb, shocking, but I always thought Orlando Bloom was a guy from That's So Raven. Orlando well, that's, Brown? That's Orlando Brown. Yeah. That always that got arrested. Yeah, he's gone crazy. Like, you guys yeah. put him in this? And then I was, didn't know what he did. And then you said he's not. And I, he's just, oh, this is a white he guy. He had a good run. He was the cute kid in Major Pain. Yeah. Oh, that's so oh that was him? Tiger. Yeah. Um, he looks more like it. an Orlando Blue. Is he in, uh, no, that's Corey, some, Corey in the house. Who was, was that just Corey something? It's Kyle Mackey. Kyle Mackey. <laughs> Or Massey? Massey. <laughs> no. Oh, Massey. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. I'm sure that will mean a lot to both of them. Going with The Rock? Going with The Rock. One for The Rock, KB. From a personal level, uh, it's pro- I think it's uh, Taylor Sheridan, but he's not the answer. Great run, though. Yeah. The Very movies good. I've seen of his are like some of my favorites. I, what, did you see the all three? I've, I've seen um, Wind River and... Hell or high water, and I pretended to have seen Sicario oh. to claim him as one of. I'll my lend you the Blu-ray if you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't think it. Makes <laughs> I gotta respect I'm, the artist. You I'm to. telling on myself a lot today. Yeah, <laughs> you've never seen Sicario, <laughs> right? I don't care. I don't even know what that Do you is. You want to pick? Uh, so I say he's like my favorite director to people, and I've only seen two of his films. The only he but they only are two of my two of, of my favorites. He only directed Wind River. He wrote. Uh, Heller Highwater and Sakari. That's even more impressive. Yeah. So you want to, you want Taylor Sheridan? Yeah, I'm gonna vote for him because I don't. I never really got into Orlando Bloom or The Rock. Uh, Taylor. First of all, so with Sicario, it, uh, I got killed for this. I really did not find it entertaining. But we'll leave that. I'm a big Sicario fan either. I'm with you, already. <sighs> Compared to Wind River, yes, come on, I agree. But what do you? Yeah, see, these movies. come on. Heller <laughs> <laughs> Highwater is awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, all oh, three are fantastic. Great. Also, I don't know why Black Hawk down for Orlando Bloom. He, he just falls out of the helicopter. He doesn't really do anything. He does die? Or yeah, not die, but get well, that's, that's, that, that kicked off the run. Ken Jack said that Shia LaBeouf was in Freaks and Geeks. Like, he was. He was in like what an episode? Uh, two episodes. All 
guy. <laughs> yeah, but your guy, your guy Frito like was your guy Frito was just in Frito. like just happened to be in movies that were amazing. It's Fredo. Frito. Frito. It doesn't happen to be in movies. Frito Corleone. I also feel like you can't complain about a guy who dies in a helicopter crash in a movie titled Black Hawk Down. No, I'm saying that like claiming it as part of his run, it's not a major role for him. Like he was well, one of the first, first big faces. Like he's the guy that he, that introduces himself to everybody. He's like the exposition character. And then he was only in, he's only in the first thirty minutes. Whatever. I love that movie. Um. I, I, for me personally, like I, I, I'm just gonna go Megan Fox because she just was just oh yeah that's the, the number one like I mean just in terms of like star power mm-hmm. in that moment she was the number one and uh, so yeah I think to me that one's the most impactful okay no chance of winning I'm gonna go Kazale I mean the, the movies are just fantastic and they they meant a lot to me but I understand why based on star power he would be very distant on this list yeah that's why I'd pet him. I would have in my personal he'd be in like a higher ranking than yeah. Jay in but it's it's tough uh, yeah Nick Lord of the Rings and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise going on at similar times Fuck both back. enormous both great and he's I kind of pretty much a that. main character in both oh, insane yeah he's the winner then yeah but, I, I forgot about that that but, is pretty insane I'm going with Megan Fox because she, everybody had a crush on her. Yes. Men, women, black, white, everybody liked me. It was unbelievable. Everyone. Uh, Hispanics didn't fuck with her, though. Yeah, they did. They did. Maybe even like some animals we don't know about. Probably. There was two girls. I think it was Fox and Alba growing up for us. Yeah, yeah, from. uh, Yeah, it went from Alba to Fox. What the fuck was that super movie? Uh, Into the Blue. The Blue. Into the Blue. So good. Yep. Uh, Jay? I mean, the real answer is Mariah Carey's titties, but uh, to, for the sake of this uh, panel, I'm going to go The Rock because he's the most electric fine man in sports entertainment. All right, so then we're, tie. we're tied between The Rock and uh, Megan Fox. Gucci an intern? What's uh, what's intern's name? <laughs> yeah, who's in there? Sorry, what's your name? Yeah, I can't okay, see. my name's Kate. Oh, Hi, Kate's the way. in there. Okay, hey, Kate. we're between The Rock and Megan, Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Yeah. Okay, um, I feel like... Y'all are right about Megan just had the biggest hold on everybody and in the news and pop news entertainment. Like, that's all they could talk about. So, what do you think? Megan Fox. Yeah, Yeah. Megan Fox. She got there without respect. Particularly talented. Oh, she had talents. (laughs) Chill out, man. Oh, I'm not chilling. So, we have uh, Megan Fox up against a a real steamrolling opponent here. Uh, Michael Jordan in the 90s, we talked about before. (laughs) Oh, my God. Michael Jordan in the 90s. Yeah, I don't know if I need to say it, but all-star every year, six-time champ, six-time finals MVP, four regular season MVP, NBA first team and all-defensive team every year. Jordan shoes, Space Jam. The only hang-up is baseball. That's the only bad thing about him in the, the 90s. The thing is, it wasn't as bad as everyone thought. You're right. Yeah. He still made it to double A. Like and bad, like 250. Like, yeah. Well, he's less than that. But he was still, I mean, double A. Alpha, and he was actually a pretty good defensive outfielder. Mm-hmm. Which him doing that alone, why people were like, this yeah, sucks. Exactly, yeah. yeah, kind of. It was weird. It was like, because we had just seen Jordan win three titles. Was he like a top high school player? No. I think it was his dad, right? He wanted him to play baseball yeah. or something. No. no. He got in trouble he gambling. gambling. Oh, yes, right. We have all he wasn't allowed to play in the oh, NBA that year. So but they, how they, is he just automatically good enough to be at that level so alone? No, it was Michael Jordan. So well, oh, that's what, Tebow yeah. making the match. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tebow match. Uh, yeah, uh, Jordan was a little better. Well, I guess that's pretty, it's comparable. I Jordan was a little better in both Michael sports. Jordan switched spots with LeBron. like Because LeBron has never really gotten in trouble, right? And he's had social media around the entire time. Michael Jordan wasn't the best of guys. I was, I was going to make this point. Yeah. yeah. And like he gets looked at as like the greatest competitor. He was kind of an asshole. Yeah. And like if Huge LeBron did one. anything did like this, they'd yell at him. Yeah, but doesn't make it doesn't make him any less of a competitor though. A hundred percent. I'm going to defend Jordan all day on this. But the problem, also, the like, problem is that LeBron is just kind of cringy. But it's also it like has to be in the way that like, has social to be. media. Yeah. Era. Like there's so much shit like I'm sure Michael Jordan would have been too if there's a camera on him all the time. He also got in trouble without a camera on him. If so Twitter like, existed. If Twitter like, existed. Cool. Like people like to make fun of we take the best athletes of all time now for granted every day. Like LeBron James, one of the best players we'll ever see, just because we're just like we want to make fun of him because that is not yeah. reading the Godfather. Yeah, like he read one page. Like you read one page too. Like I don't know. I'm not even defending him. It's just like we everyone just gets mad at people. Jordan did get some heat. I remember there was a quote. They said, well, how do you feel about politics? He's like, well, Republicans buy his shoes, too. Like, I'm not going to say anything about Republicans and Democrats because I want to. And that pissed off a lot of people. Muhammad Ali is like, take a stand. Mm -hmm. And Jordan's like, no, I'm going to go right down the middle. So people said back then Jordan was kind of, I don't say cringy. That didn't exist yet. But like. Asshole. 
are just kind of like um, not ballsy when it comes to like public stances. So people gave him some shit for that back then. But Jordan is the great. I mean, I'm going Michael Jordan. All right, good. start with you, Jordan. Give Michael me. Jordan or Megan Fox? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tough. yes, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan I'm- couldn't have replaced Zoe Deschanel on New Girl during a pregnancy. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Could Megan Fox averaged thirty points in the nineties. I bet. <laughs> we know. Well, no, yeah, I, I can see you're being on a gritty Pacers team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've seen Jordan act though. We've never seen Megan Fox play basketball. That's oh very God. true. It to Rick no Smith. Point. On the Grizzlies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she could have taught Ja how to bring the gun out to uh, <laughs> boxing out movies. Ewing. <laughs> uh, I would love to try to make a case for Megan, but it can't be done. It's Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how Jordan loses. Uh, Jordan. I mean, this is incredible. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Jordan. His airness. His airness. Jordan. Across the board sweep. Now we have the six seed versus the eleven seed. Six seed is Knicks. It's not even a, really a person. Not at all. It's a PlayStation 2 from 2002 to 2004. Oh, what a pick. Uh, huh? pick. So I'm going to go, go through the games for yeah. you that came out in this period. Oh, God. Yeah. Talk to him. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Grand Bad, Theft the Auto Vice City. I think uh, the best. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Burnout 3. NBA Street Volume 2. Tony Hawk's Underground. <sighs> SSX 3. P- uh, Prince of Persia. Jack and Daxter. Kingdom Hearts. Spider-Man Game. Uh, Medal of Honor Frontline. Lord of the Rings. The Two Towers. And Return of the King 2. The best-selling uh, video game adaptations of movie. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Ghost Recon. Splinter Cell. SOCOM. A lot. Every game was good. Every single game they couldn't made. go wrong. And the games got better. Like Madden before that was eh, and then Madden on the PS2, it was like a whole different world opened it up. Looked it looked like inc- it looked like a real game. It was incredible. The difference was stunning. Mm-hmm. And that's you go- couldn't go wrong. Yeah, and that's going up against Jonah Hill from 2006 to 2013. Forty year old virgin, grandma's boy accepted, knocked up, super bad, forgetting Sarah Marshall, Moneyball, Twenty One Jump Street. This is the end. Wow. Wolf of Wall Street. This is God. Damn. That's what I forgot how good he was. Yeah, yeah he had a lot. So let's see. The one that sticks out the most is Grandma's Boy when he was like, he so sucked funny. a titty for like 12 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma's yeah. Boy is very funny. It is. JT, right? Yeah, JP? Yeah, J- yeah. Uh, Jay. I feel like Jonah Hill, super bad. Like, I guess he is like the main guy in Super Bad. Hmm. But I feel, and that is a great movie, but I feel like mostly he's a second banana guy. Is that fair? Yeah, and most of these he's not the primary guy. Yeah, no. top build guy. Or he's working with someone else at the very least. Yeah, so I feel like it'd be tough to vote him through on this. Sorry, who's he going up against? Uh, it's going up against the PlayStation Two from two thousand <laughs> from two thousand uh, to two thousand two. Yeah. I wish the era extended a bit because I really like the slim PlayStation Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, the PS Two, the original one, is quite bulky. Chunky. Right, but like think about but that's game, a short yeah. era, and what he listed it was yeah. Insane. Yeah, so I'll go. Think about before PS2. that, before the PS Two, like how it was. Like video games were so different, it changed everything. If you rented a video game, the chances are it was going to be dog shit for like the N sixty four. I've been scorned so many times by Blockbuster and Kroger yeah. renting games. Paper Mario, Paper Mario is good. Renting oh. games was the best. Yeah, <laughs> but when PS two was around, you would just pick one and it would be it would bang. Pokemon yeah. every Snapshot. single one. Oh, hey. trying to think of a bad PS two game. I had one. It was called. It was a Robin Hood game. I got it from Value City, <laughs> right next to the Fashion Bug, and uh, yeah. it was like five bucks and. Uh, it was just like it was. I got I got fooled. It was chess. Oh, uh, that sucks. All right, so Che, you're going with PS2. Yep. Nick, yeah, it's PS2. PS2. Clark. Yeah, PlayStation 2. I remember where I was the first time I played a PlayStation 2. It was that monumental. Like you couldn't believe what you were seeing. It must have been like how our parents felt about like color TV. Mm. In, oh my God, what is this? In defense of Hill, I think the most impressive I mean, thing. You. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Marty. No, I mean I don't know what you're talking about. Right. It's like right, when right. our parents see color TV. Well, you're, my parents are old enough to remember when b- people got color TV in the neighborhood, and it was like a big deal. Oh. They talk about that, and I, for for me, it was like I remember when like it was video games were so shitty for so long. We thought it was good, and then PS2 comes along. It was insane. PS1 was just like bad. Right? Yeah, it, it had Spyro. Spyro <laughs> Toy Story game was really good on PS1. Evil. A couple other ones. I remember my parents, when they explained to me black and white TV, I asked them if life was in black and white before they switched it to color. Good question. Yeah, Yeah. I thought that as well. Yeah, I was just curious. What Uh, did they say? uh, No. Okay. (laughs) P.S. In defense of Hill, I I think the the transition from really funny movies to doing like Oscar-nominated drama stuff is very impressive. That's kind of made him a stuffy. 
Now, yeah, no, yeah. that's why the run ends. Him and Rogan both stuffy. That's yeah. why the run ends at this period. Um, Rudy. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, the other impressive thing about Jonah and that he was just waxing and waning like the moon like he was just constantly yeah he was going through moon cycles yeah and um i i I guess that's commendable like i feel like he's gone through a lot in terms of like all that bullshit and those movies are fucking amazing and i feel like even though he's like second fiddle in a lot of those movies in a supporting role like he is one of the most memorable people in every one of those movies like even 40 old virgin he's a very He's a very secondary character, but like, like a cameo. Basically, he's like a se- yeah, a cameo, but like maybe one of the most memorable scenes with the eBay and the goldfish shoes. But um, the PlayStation Two, like you guys said, I could be off on this just because of my age. But prior to that, my hunch is that video games were like, oh, this is like kind of a cool like gimmick that you might do for entertainment just because of like the novelty. But then the PlayStation two happened. That was sort of my first introduction to like really gaming. And it was like a cultural thing with your friends, like playing grand theft auto, switching off controllers, doing cheat codes. Like we it, still did that back then, but it was just, this was better. We, yeah. In the eighties we did cheat codes and playing with our friends. I think yeah. the thing was, is like, that was almost a pivot from where games stopped being incredibly hard and they were fun. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Some of that. Yeah. Correct. And, um, uh, I mean, I had moments before that with like Sega Genesis where I was super into it, but then I remember that really like exploded it and made it into like a cultural thing where like gaming is cool versus like before then it was sort of like more yes. underground, I guess. So I I don't know how Jonah cannot beat the PlayStation 2. I mean, that that is truly insane. Yes, yeah, and this is coming from the, an Xbox owner, the biggest Halo fan in the world. Still. Mm-hmm. Still. PS2. Yeah. Did you have uh, the original Xbox? Yeah, that yeah, controller was too. like it was, it was yeah. huge, oh so chunky, huge. What it's called? I'm going, uh, I'm going PS2 as well. Jonah Hill, though, I, I think it's more impressive that we keep talking about like he's never the main guy, but we all remember him in yeah. all these movies. Did you guys, did you guys like War Dogs? <laughs> I loved it. I Why do you? I love War. Dogs. I would have bet a million dollars you're a War Dogs. Fan. I love, I love War, War Dogs. Dogs. You're just like a Miles Teller guy, right? I like Miles Teller a lot. You just his new his show. On Paramount of the, the offer, yeah, hmm. unreal. But yeah, no, the War Dogs scene where he comes out with the drug dealers and he has the fucking MP5. <laughs> what? Yeah. I thought we were friends or something. Yeah, but Grand Theft Auto, when you learn those cheat codes, like mm-hmm. if you can just get a fucking helicopter and a bazooka, and you're yeah. like, it's the best thing in the world. I remember distinctly like multiple times playing with my friends doing cheat codes in Grand Theft Auto on PlayStation, and you know when you're a kid and you laugh so hard you tinkle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It, I, I, I had yeah. Made, I like how you said tinkle. Yeah, no, I hated that. <laughs> yeah, why'd you say tinkle? Because that's t- it's a tinkle. He's right. He's right. It's not a piss. It's not a piss. It's a tinkle. tinkle. Oh, it's, a tinkle. Yeah. Yeah. it's a tinkle. That had the most tinkles. Per per uh per ninety or whatever. Oh, were really hard to remember for me. Uh, I huh? bet you some like people playing remember, like, have it memorized still. Triangle, square, circle. I, I remember know. Vice City or not Vice uh, San Andreas. The big one that like people got mad about was hot coffee. Hot coffee mod, yeah. Where yeah, you, the, you could the fuck. uncensored sex. You could fuck. And people like started like stopping at red lights and shit. Did like, you see what rules. the plans are for GTA Six? It's gonna be real life. It's been going yeah, on no, for it's crazy. Hundred years of development. Seen a video. Rockstar Games are the reason I believe in the simulation theory. Mm. It's gonna destroy these kids' brains. <laughs> yeah, I don't like thinking about. They're gonna be living in that game. Have you seen the it. NBA player who has the infinite ammo tattoo button combo on his arm? That's what tough. He keep shooting. That's so oh, that's tough. Awesome. That's a good, so that's a good so tap. I forget who has it. Wow. It's like a Nick Young thing. Is he the best player ever? Is He's got to be, right? That may be the coolest tattoo I've ever heard of. It feels like a Nick Young thing to me. That's coming that from a game guy comes with sick out. tattoos. New yeah. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> is every guy like between 30 and 50 just going to take the day off? Every guy between like eight, like 16 18 and, and the kids would love it too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So like, is it just every guy? I just guy want to watch in- people play it. It's going to yeah. be like a national holiday. Dude, they I, do like simulations. They do like cop chases that were like they have just, to do, like you're saying, like follow the rules. And stuff. Oh, dude, no pixel. Dante Green is crazy. Anna he's going to be like, I don't know if he's in the NBA. Dante Green. He has this San Andreas infinite ammo cheat code tattooed on him. That's so sick. That's sick. Yeah, you know, if like Steph Curry had it, it might be work a little better. <laughs> he's such a fucking, like you're talking about corniness. Like he's the one who's embraced it a lot. Yes. Curry? Yeah. He's Nobody's calling him a, c- a cuck now. Like, Why? I would believe that. I guess he, he this is Ben allegations wife. and his wife just like fake took her ring off on whatever show she's on oh. when this like shirtless dude came in. Seems like a harsh cuck allegation. Didn't his mom? Yeah, uh, his, his parents dad? like are swingers or? Oh, I think they might have divorced. They divorced, mm-hmm. but like she got remarried or is with 
the husband of a group and then he is with that I think they swap. So they're in a yeah, throuple? Yeah. Like that, yeah. Oh, okay. Some weird right, shit. don't it? Russell Wilson. She's, whew, he's number one. The number one cringiest. No, but he's like, he's. I don't think he tries to be corny. That's just who he is. You yeah, know he's I mean? worse than he actually is. Yeah. Joe uh, Mazzullo, the coach of the Celtics, is bad too. Mm. <laughs> they yeah. told him the queen died, and he was like, the only queen I have is the mother of God. Mm. So, all right. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, God would saying, hate hearing you're that. You're saying the doctor of Damar Hamlin too? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you gave the, you got the gift of life. He didn't say that. That was yeah. that's so corny. <laughs> no, that, that's a thing. Oh, when that's what doctor they, said. You got the what? I could see Demar Hamlin saying, "Did we win? Did the we game? win the game?" Yeah. Yeah. And then he said, "The doctor supposedly said no, but you you got the, the gift you got of the life. gift of life. Yeah. Won the yeah, game of life. You won the game of life. Yeah, zero percent life. chance that happened. <laughs> Hallmark wasn't there, and then yeah. all of a sudden wrote that." Uh, all right, now we have the three seed versus the fourteen. The three seed is Jim Carrey in the nineties. Just give him the full breath of the decade ace ventura the mask dumb and dumber the cable guy liar liar the truman show and the very last big one in this movie do you guys know what it is Ace ventura no no no, no. wait eternal uh, sunshine no. oh you two should know what it is i've seen it yeah yes you have man. trying to think Grinch? liar liar i think i'm singing singling you guys out i don't know yeah Simon Birch. Simon Birch. Wait, Carrie's the narrator. Simon B- uh, <laughs> narrator of Simon Birch. I, I, uh, hey, that's uh, I got to come. That's incredible. I've never seen that. I've never seen Simon Birch. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, no. I've seen guys. scenes. I've only seen scenes. <laughs> For all you guys fucking talk about. I've seen the ba- if you've noticed, <laughs> I've only ever talked about the baseball scene. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never seen, seen it. I've never seen it. What the fuck? It's really sweet. <laughs> I've seen the baseball scene and the the drowning scene. Yeah, the, the bus. yeah, not the whole. Do you have any curiosity to see the rest of the film? No, <laughs> no. Oh, why would I want to see that? Yeah, it sounds horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> was, Great was, scene. Holy after, shit! After he killed uh, Judd, right, can I ask if Harrison Ford's on here? He's not. It would be that would be an entire career thing too. Yeah, that'd be too tough to narrow down. That's what How we do with Jordan, he? though. How close? No, it's just nineties. That's what he. But eighties, he was winning MVPs and doing great shit too. He, but nineties is consolidated greatness, and he's all, also playing in the two thousands. How close were Indiana game. Jones and Star Wars together? Were they like uh, Star Wars is seventy seven and oh, Indiana hey, Jones oh, is eighty one? Yeah, right yeah. next to each other. Yeah, they're yeah. like. Yeah, they, yeah, they were. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, George Lucas didn't want to cast them. George Lucas, yeah. That's right. They, they He's like doing Tom, door frames. Tom Selleck was the original Indiana Jones, and he couldn't get a Magnum PI. Yeah, it was supposed to be Tom Selleck, but they worked had out. Had to use Harrison Ford. Uh, so Jim Carrey is going up against one. I think all of us will know, um, except for Kate. Maybe uh, I think at least I, we'll know. This is going to be a, a porn star. Dane Cook oh. from 2003 oh. to 2009. Wow. Uh, which is it feels like he's ancient. That like it feels ancient even mentioning him now. Couldn't escape him. Um, 2003 to yeah. 2009 all the stand up the flash animation thing he had movies too like waiting play of the month good luck Chuck but like that was another guy where like if you could do his bit in middle school yeah like, you were the yeah, coolest I was guy that Even kid. Yeah, you somebody, were I was, I was definitely that kid the Kool-Aid flash animation made you the funny guy yes if you showed if you're the originator in the group yeah. oh my god uh, so waiting was a big movie like in people in their early mid 20s that was like yeah. a cult movie good luck Chuck you got Alba up there yeah, Dak Shepard. Yeah. Dak Shepard is another guy from that era that didn't really make it past it. Did you guys watch Waiting? Yeah, that's what you're talking just, about. Just, oh, that wasn't. I've never seen. I pretend. <laughs> I pretend to watch that too. You pretend to watch. That. That's real, man. You is Andy Milanakis in that? Yes. Yeah. You might be the greatest actor we all know. Yeah. <laughs> to remember I'd things. Like to get into some. I mean, if somebody's <laughs> really into something and all you have to do is agree with them, just be like, "Yeah, that was awesome." Mm-hmm. Bring up any point that they said yeah. and twist yeah. it a little bit. Uh, Marty, Dan Cook versus Jim Carrey. My, it's Dane Cook for me. I, I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't. I, I know Jim Carrey's unbelievable, but I just wasn't a huge fan of him. Um, but Dane Cook was like that. The first thing that always came on my music or Apple thing always came up. It was uh, the bit where he shit in the coats. Oh yeah, that one every single time. And Dane Cook, I thought was the funniest person in the world. Everyone, I think everyone around our age thought. Yeah, I thought he was like the time. best ever. And then obviously he was not. Uh, fucking everyone shocker says he like stole jokes and shit. I don't believe that. I'm not buying it. Well, yeah. I mean, Louis C.K. said that he stole his jokes and Dane Cook said he did it subconsciously. I don't know if anyone... They have to be the most opposite comedians ever though. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he used jokes that Louis told years later. I mean, he said he just did it. He didn't do it intentionally, but they were I do believe that, though. I think it happens. I think that happens. I think there's a lot of congruent thinking. Yeah, I think, I think everyone so too. 
thinks of th- like. And also, you might hear something and forgot you heard it too. So I mean, it could be an honest mistake. Yeah. Like the Genesis, it, I feel like that. If that's that type of thing, but if like you're repeating the exact deliver, like and the cadence. delivery yeah, cadence, sure. yeah. Then I. But for this, what we're doing, like the run that he had yes. for that was like in your face everywhere, and then he just kind of fell off. Jim Carrey is still and like blessed. married a seventeen year old or whatever. Yeah, and then his like shit. brother stole all his money. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> He's a Twitch streamer now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, way too much plastic surgery. Doesn't he stream too. in a, his home theater? It's like hilarious. He he streams, uh, f- yeah, from his home theater. In um, he plays on like a huge projector screen, which for gamers out there, like that's like the number one thing you don't do. You know <laughs> why? Because they you the the aspect ratio of it. You should be using like yeah. a TV like that, like or oh, yeah. even like on a flat screen. Like it's a it's a sixteen it's, by nine. It's like a, the ultimate like loser new guy He's thing. Got himself a teen wife, doesn't he? That's where you're just talking. He married like an 18 year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then she will sit next to him and like bring him tacos. Um, he has no idea, has no feel for any of it, but it's like weirdly hilarious. Did you get like a lot of viewers? <laughs> uh, in the beginning, not that many. So I started raiding him when I was done streaming. <laughs> and uh, just so he would say my name and he would ignore me. I think only I did it five times. Only once did he acknowledge, <laughs> which made me want him even more. Yeah. Yeah. He got you wrapped around his fingers. Yeah. Colorado guy? Am I mi- mistaken? I don't think so. Boston. It would be embarrassing if he was, and I didn't know that. Canadian. Can- is Canadian? Is Cook's Canadian? Canadian? No, oh, no, Dane no. Cook. Dane, Dane uh, Cook, man. No one's listening today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I think uh, Dane Cook. I wasn't around. I wasn't in... That wasn't old enough for Gary's run. Kill him. I, I, yeah, I'm pretty close to just smashing through the window. Yeah, yeah. This, 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 is, like, this is hard. I understand. I mean, what do you want me to do? I'm like, I'm I didn't watch trembling the, here. I like, watched him. your personality because of him, right? No, no, no. If anything, it's a, probably Jerry Seinfeld was more, you know, iconic to me. But you got your Jerry Seinfeld impression locked and loaded, right? Of course. What's the deal with this? Dane Cook! Dane Cook! Why do people like impressions? <laughs> I don't. No. Don't ask that question. <laughs> oh, you yeah, you sounded like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can say funny. I think when you use the impression to say something yeah, funny say something, that right. they didn't actually say, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. good. But the actual line. Never got into impressions. Yeah. Mm. You did have a coworker that was I very think they good. hit hard. I like him a lot. Done correctly. It's an odd one that it's a hater. Expect someone, pe- yeah. if someone did like Ben Mendelsohn, I'd laugh hysterically at it. Like a, a random person. When Frankie would do repertoire, people Frank is, I think it's the man. funniest thing in the world. When you do like Mantis. Yeah, yeah. When you do yeah. somebody that's like Jacoli. No. Or like Nate. Yeah, yeah, YP could do a super YP had some that's incredible. Like, good. Yeah, YP had yeah. some. Yeah. Like, someone you know is funny, but when you're doing like uh, Jerry Seinfeld or like Matthew McConaughey, yeah. Yeah, that's where I like it. Yeah, but when Frankie does Mantis, it's fucking Yeah, YP. Someone you know is much funnier. Incredible, yeah. Um, who's your? Who do you have in the arsenal? Uh, I have. Jay, I've been working on the Jay Leno. Oh, oh please. Think that's keep going. Keep going. Uh, Johnny, <laughs> the shake of the head from Gucci's Jay Leno, like, Johnny Carson, uh, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Johnny Carson one is actually funny. The Johnny Carson one is good. Yeah, the Jack Nicholson uh, is okay. Uh, I said I, I can do Ross Perot. The I can do the, that t-shirts. one's got a crush at birthday party. The dad from Alf. <laughs> Mm. Which no one. Uh, See, but that's funnier <laughs> to me. Than, wait, <laughs> that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, that's cool. You to me do the Carson. dad from Alf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, accidentally walking into Ross Perot taking a shit. Oh, it's tough, it's tough to go back and forth. But I'll, I'll, Leno, I'll, Jay Leno's I'll, reacting to the clip. Yeah. Do, uh, <laughs> one and one. All right, so it's uh, Alf, dad from Alf, walking in and Ross Perot taking a shit. Ross, I thought you locked the door. Now, 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 Dad from Alf, I, I did lock the door, just didn't get, but but help me wipe. Yep, this is pretty good. Ross <laughs> Perot is yeah, it's really good. good. It like I was there. Yeah. <laughs> Jada Barbie's Ross Perot is very funny. Do you have a walk-in? Yeah, I, pretty, I pretty much steal his. Do you have a Christopher Walken? Not really. Oh, it's like the worst one ever. What was Everyone's is the worst yeah. one. Yeah. Who do you have? Jack? Who do you have? Nicholson. Jack Nicholson? Do him. Do the monologue from The Departed. Like no ticket. Wait, that was really good. Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good. Nailed it. You son of a bitch! You want me to do these things for you? You want me to sing and dance? Yeah. That's good. That was uh, good. Yeah, I like that. Pretty good. I like that. Huge. Which one was good? Which one did you say was good? Carson? Johnny Carson. I don't know enough about what he sounds like. Either. My, my Johnny Carson is great. I like to swear as him because you, you never heard him say fuck or shit or cunt ever. <laughs> but John, you know he said it behind closed doors. You know what? Yeah, I yeah. might like impressions. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> impressions oh, rock. Cool. Yeah. Can you do like world of t-shirts? 
I don't know who that is. Uh, uh, oh, I only do impressions of the 20th century. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Only 20th. Oh, you do a decent. I'll sue your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Guy. I'll sue your ass. Everyone's well, mad a, at me. Big T's unbelievable. Dude, Big T's is oh, really. Wait a minute. Really? really? I forgot about Big T's impression. Big T's. Yeah. He does world of t-shirts. Yeah. What does he do? He does the world of t-shirts. I don't know this guy. World of t-shirts. Yeah, well, <laughs> you'll know him. You wouldn't like him. No, I, 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 yeah. All right. There's not much to tell. I don't know if you have enough space on the hard drive. Don't get into it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Get into the Larson lore. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, a slip it's my day. I start my day with World of T-shirts <laughs> and Daniel Larson. <laughs> Larson He's on day. TikTok, every right? Day. Every, these are, uh, wish every, every morning. Sometimes I'll wake up early, too, like 3 a.m., and I'll still instinctively check World of T-shirts. Just right? woke up. I'm not even doing the, the meme joke. I, everything I've learned about World of T-shirts has literally been against my will. Like it's just Oh, really? It's just been sort of like just put in front of me. Of course it is. That's how I start, but now I'm like, I know. Paycheck to there are fan paycheck. accounts who acquire these this footage of him that is unbelievable that it exists. Yeah. I don't know who <laughs> who so took the videos. Yeah, it's, it's like people monitoring like public. Uh, like World of Sigma's 3.0, is, his life yeah. is completely changed from running this account. He got noticed in Iceland. It's yeah, like uh, no, it's, it's like uh, the Blair Witch Project or like The Office. It's like there's a documentary team just hiding in the bushes constantly. Yeah. Me and uh, me and KB every now and then we'll I'll show them like stuff from the Reddit's because they both have their individual Reddit's. Yeah, great. So, this guy just will post like Daniel's been really boring lately. Can someone go bring him a knife? Like those like <laughs> the, they're the worst humans yeah. in the entire <laughs> world. Somebody's been uh, making uh, crocheted Daniel Larson. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so telling you, good. Daniel Larson is worlds better and more yes. funnier than. <laughs> it's a one trick world pony. T-shirts. World the t-shirts. It's an yeah. exhausting world to be a part of, though. Oh, yes. As a fan. <laughs> T-shirt world, yeah. Fan, yeah it's a tough realm. It's very hard to a, cross to carry. Yeah. Sometimes you see it, you get disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, sue your ass. Do it. Somebody's got to keep track of these boys. Uh, all right, Rudy. It was a World of T-shirts crazy. isn't blowing up at all. He's had the same amount of followers for two and a half oh, million. For like, oh, he's blowing up. He, he, it's been two point four million for the last six months. I don't know what's happening. Oh. He's got that bitch Michael Quinn just fucking like I mean, Kyle, that's taking fuck. advantage. No, it's a fuck ton, but it seems like in my head he's like having like a run. Like in these people head, we're talking about. He's a lister for TikTok, I would say. Is he? Uh, he like, might be mainstream, but like, no, definitely not mainstream. Is, but he's, uh, is, have you seen him outside of like Yak videos? No. Okay. Mm. When you guys talk about him, I, I can. Do you think I probably pick him out of the world of T-shirts? No. Okay. Uh, but yeah, most people don't. Uh, so, Rudy, Jim Carrey or Dane Cook? This is another hard one for me because I base my entire personality off Dane Cook for a long time. And like your face and bone structure. Yeah, I do. People said that. I look like him, yeah. Yeah, that's why I grew my hair out to avoid the Dane Cook allegations. And then I, t I just transferred into Bam Margera allegations. <laughs> if I so, fat-faced you right now, you would look like Bam. 100%, yeah. Uh, that's one, one of my great impressions. Nick loves it. It's the worst ever. Bam Margera? Yeah. It's the come town impression. Uh, it, is. Okay. <laughs> it is, it is. It's really bad. Uh, you see their Brian Singer bit? No. Not true. It's, it's very funny. We were going back and forth about that the other day. Sorry. Um, but Jim, I mean, I love, I, I really love Jim Carrey as a kid too, and I think that just if you're staying true to like the nature of this, I would say it's got to be uh, Carrey. It's got to be Carrey. Yeah, one for Carrey. Yeah, I mean, Jim Carrey's 1994 is bigger than Dane Cook's career. Get like, him. Well, yeah, we know that. Start with we Ace know. Ventura. You have uh, The Mask and Dumb and Dumber all came out the same calendar year. I think it's the greatest year for any comedian ever, right? Mm -hmm. That's the incredible. Mask in there. I don't like... Yeah, I won't even say it. Okay. I agree. I don't really like Dumb and Dumber. Really? Me neither. I don't love Dumb and Dumber, but I, I love, love it. The but mask. I like Ace Ventura. You guys, what was the ranking you and Brandon did on uh, Double Play? Where was it? For which one? For which? You guys did like it was three comedies uh, of one year. And it was Dumb and Dumber and two other ones. I forget what it was. I have those two, right? Because you're talking about Jim Carrey's... No, it was Dumb and Dumber... Uh, Those Happy Gilmore, Wedding Crashers, and Happy Gilmore. Oh, okay, that was a Brandon thing because it's Dumb and Dumber doesn't play for me at all uh, anymore. Wow. Dumb and Dumber is very funny still. Oh, I think it's very funny still, but I mean, I like, don't like watching like er, er, without either of the main guys. You like Step Brothers? More. See, not as much as the other as people okay. do. Yeah, I don't like I watching mean, people being like comically I pretended foolish. to like Step Brothers. <laughs> comically I foolish like as you watch fucking world of t-shirts and daniel Larson. he's not acting that's yeah. true that's, that's, why fair. that's so fair. intriguing <laughs> inadvertently foolish oh no, jim carrey though i mean jim carrey was i i, I know it i keep sounding like the old man here but like he really was such a cultural thing like jim carrey was so huge dane cook was a, the biggest stand-up going like he sold out theaters before anyone else did or as many as anyone else did but jim carrey was 
He's huge. Is he bigger yeah. than the Stooges? I wasn't alive for then, but I mean, what's your like think favorite so. comedy then? If you don't like hey, movie, Step Brothers, like yeah, movie. I like Step Brothers, no, but I, I loved Anchorman. I, what's okay, your favorite Anchorman. like you know comedy that era of comedy? Yeah, I loved It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, movie. yeah, and, that to me is like the uh, modern bound and down naming shows. <laughs> what you have a movie though? You're naming shows. Movies, the other guys. The other guys, great. Okay, you're a, we have Tropic this. Thunder, mm-hmm. super bad. I can rewatch Tropic Thunder a thousand. It's a great movie. So Tropic funny. Thunder, when it came out, didn't people hate it? I liked it. No. It wasn't nearly as popular it's as. Very, it got nominated for an Academy Award. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, for like some reason, like people hated it. Didn't um, one of the actors? Did, didn't RDJ or got maybe, nominated? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was a huge, huge hit. It was a mo- It was a cr- critically loved. Audiences loved it. Mm. What did he crazy. look like at the Oscars? Stephanie in white face at that point. People are like, now like the younger generation is getting mad about it. They try it. to, and then yeah. everyone just shuts yeah. them down. It's very funny. I don't believe that. Cycle. Honestly, I don't Why? believe that. Well, don't? Every time that pops up and I'd look into it, there's like no one saying that they don't like it. It's just an ocean. It's one it's yeah. one TikToker. Yeah. yeah. Post a video and it'll get some traction. I mean, but there is everyone in the comments don't is like, exist fuck. anymore. Yeah, I think it's like a ninety nine percent to one. Right. Yeah. No, it's just one person every like every couple months will do They're it. They're just finding out about it. Yeah, right. right. Exactly. Uh, Nick, Jim Carrey or Dean Cook? Um, we can compare Jim Carrey's runs to the Adam Sandler one we have, the Will Ferrell one. Dane Cook's is like one of one. He was yeah. the first person to be like born of the internet, it seems. Mm-hmm. Like that He was almost the first person to take advantage of that. And maybe it wasn't even him. It was those... those uh, Flash animations. The yeah. Blade Man Flash animation was the hardest I've ever laughed in my life. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Dane Cook just for the uniqueness of it. Dane Cook, Jay? I've never been a Dane Cook fan. Jim Carrey, uh, one of my favorite movies, The Truman Show. Yeah, uh, very good movie. Give me, uh, give me uh, Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're tied up. Kate and Gooch. W- was Eternal Sunshine in this run? Or does it end oh, at yeah, Birch? I don't know. Oh, it's absolutely it's absolutely Jim Carrey. I think you guys are insane. Dan, think, thank you, thank no, you. I think that you guys like you, Dan Cook is the definition of run. Like this was a run, and then it just died. Jim Carrey is less, has, is like a he's, Wayne Gretzky. He had a, he had a one, rough two thousand. Dan Cook had a, he had a one rough two thousands, but like he still had <laughs> yeah, but one step run. Jim Carrey is like a like man a, on the moon. It was a full Jim decade. Carrey hasn't had a hit in so long. long. It was a. But he reti- he liked. Uh, he could. He just didn't. Just, I don't know if he could. Yeah, he number twenty three. He's he's done a lot of shitty movies. He he tapped. I think we all know Jim. He, then he like if we tapped out. Yeah. If we if we base it on measurable success, it would be a boring podcast. Yeah. So I'm going with Dane Cook. Either way, Jim Carrey gonna win. Fuck. Seven versus the ten. Seven seed. Uh, it's a guy with acne scars that got uh, leading man role. Fucking Jessica Alba. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling regret. Uh, number seven seed from Nick Genghis Khan. Yeah, biggest ah, empire. Damn, that biggest was a hell of a Genghis. Yeah. Biggest continuous land uh, empire in the world. Twelve million in, square miles. In twelve and twenty five years. Africa. He yeah. did it in twenty five years. Twenty five years. Just twenty five years. Uh, so pretty damn good run. I think like what there's a percentage of the entire world that is related to him. Yeah. Now like a, more than most because of the. Yeah, that part uh, wasn't great, but that's arguably huge. the worst part. All right. Uh, can you give the nod? We have one disapproval for for Genghis Khan. Oh, can we? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, damn it, Shiraz. Yeah. No, no. If you say it on the yak, it has to be taken down immediately. We have like a kill switch now for the R word. Yeah. What? Uh, more or less. What? I did not know that. Sorry. Oh. Why is that? Like other shows, we can YouTube will like bump you. Other shows don't. Does that happen with the other shows too, or just the yak is so big you don't want to fuck with? They're primary. All right, hold on. I, I, I got. I got. I'd rather it. I got hear it. that word than see Big Ev's beardless face. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I that's it. true. I got it. Hold on. Ready? That was ready. That was tough. Because of the grapes. Yeah, there it is. Because of the grapes. That's right. There's your. There's your cut point. Uh, and that's going up against the number ten seed, Arnie. Little Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. I thought you meant grape. <laughs> Gilbert Grapes. <laughs> oh, Arnie Grape. Arnie Grape oh. from Gilbert. <laughs> Younger brother eating Gilbert. Gilbert Grape. Uh. Holy shit. Hey, there's Caleb. Let's oh. Go. Oh, he flipped us off. That was messed up. Uh, all right. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, 84 to 11 is what I'm doing here. I know it's a long period, but it's we'll go through it just to let you know. This career. This is oh, no, but off. This is 84 to 11. Wait, just wait for the no, reason. I'm not wait for the reasoning. Listen. The reasoning is uh, Arnold, Terminator, Commando, Predator, Twins, Total Recall, T2, True Lies, Jingle Squeeze All the Way. Twins and, and that's and this ends, Jingle All the Way, 96. I think yeah. that's when the movies end. Right. Then he marries a Kennedy 
And then he runs for governor. And then he gets outed in 2011 for having fucked his maid and having an illegitimate child. And that's where the run ends. So the movies are one section of the all run. Right, all right, and the, Isn't that like two runs shit. then? What's that? Isn't that like two runs for him then, right? It's like two, it's a one run that's consolidated of two different, totally different things. You know what I mean? Governorship and acting. So okay. they're two t- separate groups. Because so the movies he made while he was becoming a governor and shit, they're awful. So hmm. the Arnie of 84 to 11 versus, does it make more sense now? Don't like it. Not really. It's it's not Full it's not career from it's career from filmography combined with government. Sure, shit. sure. Okay. Uh, Sir Arnold Schwarzenegger versus Genghis Khan. Jay, I would like to base my vote on Clemmer's Schwarzenegger impression. You're not allowed to say "get to the chopper," mm. <laughs> or nobody wants a booster doll. Or, tur- or Turbo Man. Gotta do it, Stephen Che. You got to vote for me. Don't forget Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, we're going to uh, cut that one. Oh, censor <laughs> bar. Cut that one. I, there, was no, there was an E, not an I. Yeah, I there was an E, not an I. I think they're, I think they're being harsh on you. That was fine. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to go Schwarzenegger. All right. Arnie gets one. Nick? It's Genghis Khan. <laughs> I got to look at his Wikipedia. 0.2% of the world is related to him directly? I don't support that. On account of the grapes. What a run. Uh, yeah, he had, he conquered more than Rome did in its entire history in 25 years. Mm-hmm. Clemmer? Schwarzenegger couldn't even be a good governor of California. It's Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. <laughs> I like how you, like, he became the governor. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Ronald Reagan became the president. I don't know. Becoming the <laughs> Wait, governor, He's a politician. <laughs> he was an actor. He was an actor before he was a politician. He was? He, yeah. He was he in Westerns and shit. Yes. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Um... The one thing I can't stop thinking about is the statue of Genghis Khan. Yeah, and in Ulaanbaatar, it's massive. And that is, is probably the least important thing in his whole Rolodex. He didn't want a statue. He doesn't even know, want to know where he, he didn't he's want buried. to tell people where he's no buried. No one knows where he's buried. Yeah. Uh, but, humble king. <laughs> yeah, very humble. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, don't th- I don't know how you can dwarf Genghis Khan in this scenario. Uh, even as the Terminator, these are all fictional, fake fairy tale things. We're talking about a real ass motherfucker. He wasn't even born to wealth. He was like an outcast, and he mm-hmm. started small, taking over other like tribes and tribes. Yeah. I, I got respect for him. You, you're kind of getting like close to Stan territory. I stan Genghis Khan and Kublai a little bit. Kublai is a beast. You ever watch Marco Polo on Netflix? Oh, pretty good show. Oh, yeah, I gotta go, Genghis. Genghis, yep. AB. I'm reading his his Wikipedia. Yeah, he's gonna be hard to beat. Great name. Say, look at the statue. I know it, uh, you Humongous. mentioned it. It's so f- it's amazing. Like no conqueror of a country has that. You know what I mean? Like there's no Napoleon statue that's like massive in France. It's, just, it's also it, it's oh. just so cool looking. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's just him the, on a horse. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's like crazy. It's crazy that some names last and some don't. Right? Like John is in the Bible forever, but Genghis. No, I until I pop a little one out. Yeah. Oh, Genghis right. Tarani. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gonna be confusing. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good name. Yeah. <laughs> so, KB, are you going with Genghis? Yes. Genghis? I don't know anything about Genghis Khan. Mm. He, he took did. over all of, he made it all the way to Europe. He had all of Asia. All of Asia. It was like, you know where Europe? Mongolia is? It's conquered. It's like, I know. Uh, how many China bodies Mongolia? does he have? F- kills? Kills. Kills, kills? kills in history. Like millions. Yeah. Yeah. The most. Jeez. I don't know. I'm going on. Arnie. They would catapult kids. I'm friends with the sun, so I'm <laughs> gonna be disrespectful if I. Oh, you're you're friends with ba- Banya Banyas or what? Oh, that's a bathhouse. Oh, Patrick. Oh, it's not as cool. His kid he had by the maid. Is yeah, jacked. Yeah, she looks exactly huge. like him. Doesn't it? Looks exactly like him. Yeah, and the other two kids like one's kind of a slob, and the other is Patrick. Patrick like okay. he dated like Miley Cyrus back in the day. He was like in the scene. Mm-hmm. A nice, nice fella. Nothing's more suspicious when your maid has a child that looks exactly like. <laughs> well, that's literally how he got. Yeah, he got caught. Yeah, that's yeah how yeah. they figured it out. I have a, I have a thought. I'm curious as to you guys' take. I think True Lies is the best Arnie movie. That was just awesome. T2 is very good. True Lies is very good. I also don't think I've ever seen a Schwarzenegger movie. You've never oh, seen like you, Terminator. You've seen Fine. The Expendables. No, I, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Terminator. I have seen Jingle All the Way like 50 times. Have you that seen True Lies? I haven't seen True. In the Garden Cop. Haven't seen Predator. That. I've never seen Predator, I haven't yeah. seen Predators, Predators all time. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis has a has None of those. great scene in that. Serious moment in True Lies. Yes. yes. Uh, Commando. I, I, I love Commando. Her. Is she? A yeah. Serious soft spot. I know what you're saying. Yeah. It's you, a line I of one. Really, You'd be shocked. Well, I gotta check You'd out. be shocked. 
Um, so Genghis Khan gonna move on. Now we have the two versus the fifteen last matchup. Two is Tom Hanks in the nineties. Tom Hanks in the nineties, wow. League of Their Own, Sleepless in Seattle, Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Toy Story, Apollo thirteen, that thing you do, Saving Private Ryan, and you've got mail, four best actor noms, two wins during this period, and became like the household actor name. Uh, and that's going up against number 15 seed. Uh, this was a suggestion from Robbie Fox, and I agree with it. Uh, Conor McGregor, because Conor McGregor, 2013 to 17, he went from a nobody that nobody knew yeah, yeah, yeah. at all to go. nine and one, the highest paid fighter. You could not avoid him anywhere he went. And then 2017 loses to Floyd Mayweather. And then that's it, basically. Like, he's still famous, obviously. But like the run of him being just knocking the fuck out he of was him, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere you went. And obviously launched a whiskey brand out of it and all of that. Um, so we'll start with you, uh, Mush. Conor McGregor was Tom Hanks. Jeremy Lin should have been on the Insanity uh, was in our plane at first, but it wow. was it's literally it's two months. Not even. Yeah, but that run it was a run. Ken Jack's yeah. minimum is a decade for yeah. a run. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's when D'Antoni resigned, that was the end of it. And that was a month after he started playing. That was it was a, a crazy run though. Yeah. It was a sprint. Damn, this is tough for me because I'm a I'm a in my head at least a known Tom Hanks hater. Really? Yeah. You mean in your? I didn't have a single. I don't think I've ever really told that on Tom Hanks. That. Yeah, you're <laughs> a closeted Tom Hanks. Yeah. Closeted, yeah. Hey, like, what do you like? Dislike about him? I just don't think he's good. I just uh, every movie he's in upsets me. Like Toy Story. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know he was in that. Saving Private Ryan. He's Woody. Woody. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I really did not know that. I don't think that that's crazy. Yeah, it's like animated movies. I don't, I don't. I don't know who Buzz Lightyear <laughs> is. Who's that's Buzz crazy. Lightyear? Tim Allen. I, pay, I don't pay attention. Oh to yeah. Voices when I'm. Anyway, uh, you've seen Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, that one's fine. Castaway. It's good. Saving Private Ryan's a really Castaway good movie. That's why he's talking to a volleyball the entire. That's not time. part of this technically. Oh, no, 2000. 2000? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he really upset me in uh, Elvis. Oh, this is not part of that run. Part of Elvis. I know. It just it upset me. I'm going with McGregor. On McGregor. McGregor is was like, I mean, he still is one of the most famous people. Just not that just his career though. Yeah, just huh? not a great fighter anymore. I guess is that his career. No, because he was a, he's had years after after that. Okay. Yeah, just a lot of losses. After yeah, that. that's why I'm going with McGregor too because his was a run, like meteoric rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the same boat. I mean, Tom Hanks. Those movies are all insane. Obviously, he's like one of the most well known best actors the last however long. But like McGregor's whole thing was that like he had a moment and I've never seen someone capitalize yeah, exactly. like so consistently and so aggressively on their moment. So I think to me, that's like the most impressive run where it's like for four years, he was just so aggressively like pursuing and consistently winning. It was just so impressive. Think about it now, though. Like, there's no, like, there's really good fighters. Like, everyone knows that, but like, <sighs> right. no one has taken it as like that's the guy of the UFC. Yeah, and the part that's impressive to me is that it's one thing to be an incredible athlete, but it's another thing where I would argue that his game off, yeah, out of the octagon is, is second to none. Like, all time shit talker. Yeah, he was he so good. Every time he was so good at just every aspect of it, like the shit talking, the persona, like the. The, the way he conducted himself, the outfits he wore, like everything about it was like a fairy tale. Even his tattoos became Tattoos, blurred, exactly. Like, like the tattoos, everything about it, like his whole story, how he talked, like everything about it. So yeah. I think it was a cheat code. Yeah. I wonder what the, I don't know what the numbers are, but like what he contributed to UFC's rise to pro, like prominence. Huge percentage. And he had to be yeah. a massive trunk. Huge percentage. I didn't know shit about UFC until Conor McGregor became a thing. And yeah. everyone's like, no way he talks all this shit and wins this game, uh, this match, knocks right. the guy out in a round. I think it's like, like two of my three favorite sporting, like live watching moments have been McGregor fights. Yeah. Like yeah, if, yeah, if you're in a bar, like a much. good bar and a McGregor fights on and he yeah. beats the brakes off someone and all the hype, I like, I can't think and of it. He anything. won in like 40 seconds or whatever yeah. that it's was. Aldo. Everyone that like that's when he was like top. Yes. And then obviously he started throwing. I mean him and uh what was the biggest fight of the, uh, ever? And like lost, him actually. versus Mayweather would be the number no, one. No, the one he lost the Filipino. Um, Khabib. Khabib. Yeah, yeah, that was like and that was right biggest. after the Mayweather loss. So yeah. like those two are consolidated. Yeah. That's the end of the run. Um but yeah, I think like the fact that he had got that many people interested in a sport that they otherwise didn't know anything about is crazy. And the speed of it is also insane. But also it's going against Hanks. So, Clemmer? Yeah, I feel bad I didn't understand this when I give you the nominations. Because Mike Tyson should be on here somewhere. Babe Ruth should be on here somewhere. But they're not. So, I'm going to go with Tom Hanks. Like Mike Tyson, to me, was the greatest 
but you talk about the stuff about McGregor, I feel like Tyson did it just as well. The only thing difference is like McGregor was a burgeoning sport. Like it was brand new and like yeah. he helped get UFC off the ground where boxing already was. Dude, some of the the promos he'd cut when he would just get in front of a mic were the one where he says he wishes that some of these guys had kids so he could kick him in the head. Like he the things that came out of his mouth would every time shock me. The one where he goes on that whole spewing spree, it's like pretty hateful. And then he just ends it with praise be to Allah. And yeah. everyone's like, what the fuck? Pretty amazing. Yeah. Was that uh, the commentator he should talk? Do you remember he he like he goes after this commentator? He's like, if you know what the fuck you were talking about, uh, then you come and fight me or something. I forget. Tyson? Yeah. I just went after Jim Gray. Yeah. Uh, I, I know that. <laughs> A lot of guys did, though. So. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Nick, you're saying? I wonder how many UFC fans credit their fandom to Conor McGregor. Mm-hmm. Um, with that being said, we're using his career, it seems. Tom Hanks, people still look at him as this amazing actor has he put out anything good has he been really. good in 20 years sully he he got nominated for a mr rogers movie mr rogers is the best movie he made in the last like two uh, decades and like than, sully like like chase said catch yeah, me if you can he's really that, good that, that was like twice that was 2001 though yeah that he is him and cruz are the only two people left that can seem to like headline a movie with just their name caprio uh three people okay yeah mm-hmm. there's not many movie stars left oh no. not many solo movie stars no left. um and he's somehow still one of them after not a really good track record. So, and it's because of that run. So, I'm gonna go with that. It really isn't movie stars. No. It's Tom Cruise. It really is not. It's no. like now it who's say Tom stars Cruise now. The last movie all star. like five, six people it's in it. I mean, The Rock. The, the Rock. Stars? As much as I don't like The Rock, like he can still get asked. You know, he's like seat. he's like a product. He's not really a movie. But how star. many actors explain. are left where their Arnold name can be larger than the title of the movie on the poster? I, I would say possibly Joaquin. Oh, he not, but he didn't sell tickets. He put out a movie yeah. no one saw. It. I won't even know he finger, but finger, <laughs> Eva Mendez. You finger Eva Mendez. You no one remembers that. Is it Leo? No one even knows it happened. Leo, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Every movie he's in is massive. Yeah. Like he doesn't do like some indie picture that no one watches. I think Chalamet is kind of close, honestly. Getting there. Even then, like his like Kevin Hart has specific like Yes, Kevin yes. Hart puts asses in seats, yeah. But also he's another like product versus yeah. movie star, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um so Che, it's three, two and Leo. three. Breaker. I feel like we're forgetting someone Art. huge. Brad Pitt is that's Brad Pitt had that movie. He does a lot of summer. smaller movies. He's like, like yeah, like Bullet Train. Yeah. Like, that made some money. Yeah. It was fire, but I don't Clooney. but he fucks around. He was like the invisible guy in Deadpool. Leo yeah. doesn't do that. Do like killing uh, them softly. No, we, no, we and we also just know like won't even touch a franchise movie. Oh. He's very serious about the film. Deadpool is a technical franchise movie. But. Yeah. Uh, che. So I enter names into my phone with like first initial last name. Tom Hanks would be thanks in my phone. T. <laughs> Hanks. So I'm going to go with him. <laughs> I have no idea what he just said. That was awesome. <laughs> that was Missile good. Over explanation for... for... That had, oh, in context, that had in context nothing to do with the criteria of... <laughs> I, no, I'm not hating. There's really no rules in this show. I know. I'm not hating. That that just. Yeah. So everyone on my phone, for the most part, is first initial last name. So really? if Tom Hanks was in my phone, it would be. It's T always no Hanks. matter what. It's not if it's like my family members, it'll be like their names. But yeah. yeah, outside of that. So McGregor's would be C M Gregor. So C M C, you McCaffrey guy. Gregor, no. So like Nixus and Tarani. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, Gooch and Kate, who are you picking? McGregor. McGregor. McGregor going to move on. 15 seat upset. All right. I like that. I like that. Now we're going to run through our playoffs. Well, I'm just knowing the Mighty slaughtered. Ducks out that the Mighty Ducks NHL franchise uh, accounted for 98% of merch sales. Jesus. Really? Wow. wow. I remember San Jose Sharks had a big, but not, a big not like that, though. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. What if I said yes? <laughs> yeah, Nick, what if? <laughs> I think Conor McGregor was that to the UFC. Mm-hmm. I'd agree with that. Um, do they do like UFC jerseys? Like, that's not a thing, right? You buy the shorts. Shorts? No. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> buy the oh, shorts. Yeah. <laughs> you shock me sometimes, man. That might be a thing. I got no idea. I was, I was with the Ken Jack. I was like, oh, the shorts must be popular. Makes sense. They all wear shorts. I don't know. Lemmers sure. would look like basketball shorts. You look yeah. like AI. Yeah, it would look like your <laughs> nineties basketball playing against shorts. the professor in the and one league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Sham God. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Uh, okay, we can go through our playoffs. Kanye versus Adam Sandler. Oof. That's a Jay. Heavy Oof. Sandler's Jewish, so a real fight. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I didn't think about that. It's a grudge match, right? Yeah, here. seriously. Jeez. I'm going with Kanye. Go with Kanye. 
Nick? I'll go Kanye. Shout out the old Oh, Kanye. no. Kanye? Yeah, I mean, for some of that run, Jim Carrey was the bigger comedy star. So I got to go Kanye. Got to go Kanye? Oh, my God. I didn't expect all that. This is tough. Um, fuck. Kanye versus Sandler. the Sandman. SNL. Billy Madison. Happy Gilmore. Wedding singer. Dirty work. The water boy. Big I, Daddy. I... I, I I, I kind of got to give it to Sandman, dude. Mm. Mostly because he's managed to at least stay tethered to this earth, which I know is not part of the criteria, but mm. I got to go Sandman. Sandman? Shit. In my world, Kanye was competing with <laughs> Lil Wayne and Eminem at that time. Shit. Adam Sandler in the comedy world was the, the god. Oh, Jim Carrey was. To me. Oh, I understand. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Enjoy. So Adam Sandler. Wow. Three to wow. two in favor of Kanye. Mush? I'm going Adam Sandler. Whoa. I'm going Adam Sandler. Because the booth? And more, again, to me, Adam Sandler was like the only, those movies are were iconic no matter what. Yeah, and you don't even necessarily like, I feel like you like the bad ones he does. Yeah, like that's my boy. Yeah, exactly. That's, well, that's your favorite movie, movie isn't it? It's yeah. unbelievable. I you always bring that up. It's, it's bad. It's one of the best Boy. movies. What's the other ones? Like, that is an Odd incest couple, Like, What's the one he's doing recently? <laughs> uh, Chuck and Larry is what I think you're trying to say. No, 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 no. The one with Aniston that's on Netflix now. There's oh, uh, two of the, them. the uh, mystery one. Right? Murder, yeah, mystery, mystery, murder mystery. Murder mystery. Yeah. 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 Never like they do one. huge numbers on Netflix. They do like really well. Really? It's so yeah. Bad. It's so funny. <laughs> We're talking about that's my boy. The I like funny, Andy Samberg a lot. The funniest part of that Ooh. was um, Andy Samberg having the uh, new kids on the block tattoo on his back that stretched out because yeah. he made he's him get his heads are fucking whooped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Rex Ryan cameo. Rex Ryan's unbelievable in it. Perfect amount of scroll. When did when <laughs> when did Axe become a douchebag thing? Every, there's so many lines in that it's all right so gooch and kate i would have gone sandler but when you look at the yay ron i mean he married kim k and he saved adidas at the same i mean like it, i think you have to go kanye yeah uh, did you code switch for this answer yeah the way you were did a little, a little bit. bit you did Talking like i used no. to talk on <laughs> that job <laughs> that, that, yeah that so job script was half TV. written right there and kate you're kanye too Sandler is very iconic and I think more likable, but Kanye really changed the music industry. You think past. Sandler's more likable? Too. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I think, he's I think he's, you think Sandler's like. more likable than Kanye West? <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough take, but we'll see how it plays. Uh, firing I, th- I think him dressing like a slob's kind of a try-hard move. So I hate oh, that. Oh, yeah. People are red- turning on that. I agree. I agree because when he was on the red carpet with Jennifer Aniston, he's like wearing his big sweatshirt. It's like, dude. You don't have to look like that. At start, I ass. liked it. I think after a certain point, it's like yes. you don't need to do this anymore. Larry David always wears the same exact thing. That's fine, but he's like his sweatshirts are getting bigger on him, and I hate more it. wrinkled, dirtier, yes. and not a single color match. Yes, like yeah. he's trying to be like that now. Michael Jordan versus Britney Spears. Mush. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm Michael Jordan. <laughs> Britney Spears. I don't know, it's didn't. I know how big she is. Just didn't do much for me. Michael Jordan. KB. Yeah, come on. It's very tough. Who were the other big names in sports at the time? Who was he competing with? 90s? Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, Gretzky yeah. would be the big one. Uh, in baseball, who would it be? In baseball, you have McGuire and you have that, so that so whole so thing, so you know. Oh, uh, that Mary McGuire, Bonds. McGuire run was. Yeah. I mean, that was the only, it was a one year that was Jordan competing had the whole decade. Sosa. Yeah. 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 That, that was, was a great the steroids and yeah. baseball run. Yeah. That was awesome. That was so cool. Bring yeah. That was the best, man. No. Steroids. No. Ruined record books. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, my record book. I do impressions. Uh, <laughs> this guy who's bringing an actual book to write. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if someone ruined Pokemon. <laughs> it did ruin Pokemon. Pokemon. And how do you feel about that? Who care? You don't care at all? No. Oh, I care very much. <laughs> you really <laughs> care about steroids that much? <laughs> yes. So like Barry Bonds is like one of the one of the best players ever watched. Inarguably. Baseball. Makes me so angry because he would have been a Hall of Famer without it. You, you, can, you know exactly when he started taking it. Exactly what's wrong with baseball and why it'll never grow is you. You're the problem. Yeah. Stat yes. sheets. Who You don't want to see the best players hit. 
Why? I do. Why, why, why do they have to do it with steroids? They did it before. They were crushing them. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. Awesome. It was so awesome. Dude, they, they were the holding the head. Like, the yeah, the mode baseball bat now. looked like a toothpick. There's yeah. nothing better looking at Barry Bonds on the Pirates and then when he was on the Giants. Everyone forgets. See, all the people that love this weren't around for it. You had a lot of like 14 to 7 games that were boring as fuck. It wasn't that great of a... All right, hold on, dude. We're not watching four. We're not... <laughs> no one cares about that. Yeah, no. Did, well, when you were... A couple of games were 14 to 7, Rudy. Yeah. Yeah. No, they, no, there were more than a couple. The games were ugly as shit. You just 14 had, to 7? That's that's more scoring is more interesting. Yeah, I would have loved that. It, it, boring, I'm telling you. Imagine fans. I would kill to see a 14 to 7 game. No, it wouldn't, because by the 8th inning, you're like, I know what's going to happen. This is no, because uh, you, know, you know they can. They have the ability to score they 7 runs. Like, guy. Really, right by, yeah, it, it it's wasn't the guy fine. who plays MLB The Show and only pitches. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love being a starting pitcher and MLB The Show. I'm, yeah. I'm actually, hey, I'm, I'm actually going to defend you on that. <laughs> oh, okay, what about Pitching this? Fun? And yeah, Madden, that's kind of cool. In Madden, he only runs the ball. I don't like that's, passing. I like to <laughs> that's run. Nuts. That's, that's insane. Nuts. That's, that's insane. insane. That's crazy. That's that insane. I hate passing in Madden. I get so that's mad about it. Oh, you do. You pass on fourth down, third down. You can do very well by running. I would watch that, Clemmer. I would actually watch you only run it if you streamed it and you made a character based on yourself, same height and weight as a Do that, Clemmer. I do I do that for the other show. I have someone look just like their weight slider goes down that low. It doesn't. I know it doesn't go down as low. Yeah. Like Che runs because it's like better for like yeah. to change up the defense, but not every play. Yeah, yeah it's fun to you do. You really do every Not play. every play. I, I mix in throws when I have to, but I don't like it. And I'm always framing with throwing it. I get so upset if I throw it. All right, I'll do one bubble screen. That's yeah. it. And a lot of them are just, honestly, most of my passes are just tosses to the running back. <laughs> Because usually he's that. open. I can get like seven yards and boom, right back at it again, baby. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. I'll play anyone in Madden and do it, and I do pretty well. Imagine, no one wants to do that. Imagine getting can, like getting against him on live, like I'd a random livid. guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you get mad because you know you're going to lose. He's just got to play like again. Yeah, yeah I have, you have to like bump up. Mighty Ducks merch sales in the NHL. <laughs> Time of game, you can't do what they give you. You I have to bump it up like four minutes a quarter because. What defense would you run against that in Madden, Jay? Engage. Four three pinch tight, uh, stack at stack the linebackers to a side, and then bring a safety. Down. Game over. Getting... What, do you, what do you do when I start passing it? <laughs> four luck. yards. You don't know how to. I know I can. I just don't like it. Yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> that's, that's fucking crazy to me. Um, so Jordan versus Brittany, Rudy. Jordan clearly is the winner here, but I have Brittany tatted on me with the Pelosi's, so I got to go, Brittany. <laughs> There's a Pelosi on you too. Ooh, Pelosi's. Ooh, Pelosi's? Yeah. Pelosi. Ooh, Pelosi's. Yeah, not her face, but. Oh, okay. Now I know. It was actually really close to being Nancy Pelosi that was tatted on me, but it's Britney. <laughs> uh, Clemmer. Uh, yeah, it's Britney Spears owned a, a very small part of time. Michael Jordan owned the world. It's Jordan. Jordan. That's yeah, Jordan. Jordan's gonna win, but Shay. You'd be in third and eight all day, so you'd have to pass and you'd just pass <laughs> okay, the no, you just Third and eight, the bullshit, down. motherfucker. You don't know how good I can run. You'll run on third and eight. No, 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 no. You got to pass. You got to pass. You got to pass. But I, I'm not happy about doing it. <laughs> got to pass. Go. Yeah. Well, you're saying you'd never get into third and eight because right. you're running. so good at yeah. running. Wait, who are you playing with? I like to have teams that have good running backs. <laughs> that makes <laughs> perfect wow. sense, actually. <laughs> but that's usually what I, I... And also, I have to have a decent quarterback because if I throw interceptions, I get so mad. That's the thing is it takes the... I get so Welcome mad. to the world of throwing interceptions. We all hate it. Yeah, I know, but it, it, it's just... It enrages me so much I can't enjoy the game. Like, Madden is such an emotional ride for me. Like, I, I, it's, is that why you don't hit? Because like, if you strike out, it just gets you that mad? No, no. Pitching's fun because you think about... All right. Because the game's smart now. If you throw the guy the fastball, you you do it again the second time up, he'll know. And you mix in change-ups. I like the... It's like a puzzle you put together when you're pitching. It's fun. I like that. The the running in Madden is only emotionally based. Mm. <laughs> a little juiced up guy takes you 650. <laughs> Ed Center. Yeah, McGuire. <laughs> this is why I don't like playing the, in the late 90s in my baseball sim. It's not accurate. Will you not draft Barry Bonds in your sim? I will, but I tell him not to use steroids. Because if you... <laughs> yeah, mods. Okay, Chris. Yeah. Well, it's my universe. It's like, oh, yeah. he says in his world, and in my world... Yeah. Barry, come here. Let me talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know the exact time when Barry Bonds used steroids. It's in the book Game of Shadows. You can check it out. It's right after 1998. So you know anything before 98 is legitimate. So that's all you need to base the stats off with him. Yeah, and then he got cooler after 1998. That's not when Conseco ratted everyone, is it? No, it was after. Conseco ratted everyone after. After he got, bought, uh, he got blackballed from baseball in 2000. Mm-hmm. He was rat on everybody. But the reason Bonds used steroids is because he saw the attention McGuire and Sosa got. He says, why the fuck am I doing this legitimately? I can go get this attention too. I agree. Move. Mm-hmm. Worked out for him. Well, not really. He's not in the Hall of Fame, but. 
Oh, he's going to be so upset. He's one of the, everyone knows Barry Bonds. Mm-hmm. Everyone knew him before, and he won three MVP. In history, it's the everybody is just pro Bonds. It seems besides yeah, once like the well, he's Bonds. not in the Hall of Fame, so there's a lot of people that are anti. He missed. Is it is it impossible now? Is he out? Of- he has to get in by the Veterans Committee, and they rejected him already once. Once the once the hall the current hall voters die, no, then the new ones come in. I feel like they'll be good. Well, with now it. it's just players and executives that vote for it. I don't mm. think they're going to vote for me. Maybe you know when we're really you know like fifty years from now, maybe, but. I mean, you, Baseball Hall of Fame is a joke. That's awesome. It's the greatest place in the world. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. The have, you ever, have you ever been? Oh, you played yeah, there, right? I've been there. You've been in the museum? You've been in the plaque have room? have a record there, you skinny rat. You have a record at Cooperstown? Yeah, I do. What's Most put outs in a week. What does that mean? What is a put out? Shorts like getting a ground ball thrown. Oh, first. for the Cooperstown Dreams Park? Yep. Nice. Still I remember there. their record book on their website. I want it to be on it so bad. Hey, your name oh, is still there? Still on it. We should go to Cooperstown. I want you to point that out to me. I'll pick it. Every time we do one of these shows, we're going to go website. somewhere. I'll show you after. Uh, che, Jordan versus Kanye. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Jordan versus Kanye. Jordan won. Uh, Jordan. 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 Uh, it's got to be Jordan. Jordan. Yep. Yeah. 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 So the one person that Kanye doesn't have sneakers over. <laughs> yeah. True. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's entire beats him in every category. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Jim Carrey versus the PlayStation Two. Did Jordan never try music. A lot of people did. Did he ever? Probably. I don't know. He had a number one movie Shaq though. Did yeah. Space Jam? Like, oh yeah, was that even did. part of that? Was Space Jam a part it's of this? In that nineties. Yeah, oh yeah, that was nineties. Oh, yeah, yeah. He might have. I don't really know. I don't Prime Lola too. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Jim Carrey versus PlayStation, PlayStation Two. Two. Yes, Two. KB. Versus uh, Jim Carrey, e- PS2, PS2, pretty. Jim Carrey is great, but he can never do so the PlayStation Two. Two, did. PlayStation Two, did PS2. I'll go with Carrey, so it's not unanimous. Jim Carrey, PS2 had so much thought put into it as like a young OCD boy. And when you you could put it on its side or its top, you could turn the little logo. It had a hinge, so it was the logo was always the right side up. Sound when you turn it on. Was yours oh, was shit. yours black or gray? Black. Black. Nice. With the uh, with the blue little triangle that you. Pretty put sure, in. they had gray ones. The oh, original PlayStation was. Yeah, the OG one was very. I tripping. Gray. They had white. They had the white slim. I tripping. Yeah. Sorry, I was just tripping. What I call Clemmer. Um. <laughs> slim. I will go with PS2. <laughs> PS2, Jay. PlayStation. PlayStation, PS2 going to win on the other side. Conor McGregor versus Genghis Khan. Uh, a fight I'd like to see, actually. Yeah, that's uh, a good no that's contest. Physical contest. Yeah. No horses, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'll go Conor. So I'm a little bit more familiar. I'll go Khan. Go Khan. Genghis. Genghis. My, I went Khan with a K. Yeah, I assumed. Um, I, I'm picturing that if they actually did meet in person, and I think that Genghis Khan would actually be like, "Oh wow, this guy is actually pretty <laughs> psychotic." It's like maybe one of the few people that might be. A- Genghis Khan mm-hmm. killed over a million people. Yeah, but I do believe that if Conor McGregor, if you flipped their roles in history, I think Conor McGregor could be capable of s- some similar atrocities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Uh, and just based on. Just based on like the, seizing the moment, I would say I have to go with McGregor. Gonna go with McGregor. Bush? I'm going with McGregor. I'm going up. McGregor because fighting talk is the most boring talk because all they do is said I'm gonna knock you out. But he would find different ways to insult them that you'd like leave your jaw dropped and just be like, oh, "This guy's incredible." And the best part was at the actual fight, he would knock them out. Yes, and he would also do it what he said. Mm. Like, sometimes guys are just like, oh, he's, I'm going to knock him out in the second round. It's like, you don't believe that. Yeah. He believed it. They'd be so scared trying to do it, and he's just like literally knows he's going to knock them yes, out. Yes, exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> He'll uh, tell you how he's going to do it, too. Yeah, Gooch and Kate, McGregor versus Genghis Khan. Gooch and Kate. Genghis Khan. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan versus the PlayStation 2. <laughs> now this. <laughs> this is tricky. It's trickier. Marty. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> PS2. <laughs> this is, my, I think, my favorite matchup we've ever so gotten. This is the epitome of the show. Yeah. yeah. Genghis <laughs> Khan versus the PlayStation. Yeah, I'm going PS2. Yeah, PS2, Rudy. When I... Thinking about this, I, I would say... 
yeah, Genghis Khan conquered millions of square miles or whatever and killed millions of people, was one of the most influential people in the history of the world. In the PlayStation 2, if you racked up the amount of bodies people stacked in the entirety of Grand Theft Auto, it would dwarf Genghis Khan. And in that world, anything is possible. Genghis Khan was an atrocious murderer, but PlayStation 2 taught kids to be that. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever played State of Emergency? No. Oh. You just shoot up a game? mall. Oh, never mind, never mind. What was the alien game? Oh, similar to the Modern Warfare humans. 2 airport mission. Much like it. Yeah. So in terms of that, uh, I have to go PlayStation. PlayStation. I do. I think. If you, well, I wonder where you, Genghis Khan would react with if you showed him a PlayStation 2. He, he would love Grand Theft Auto. He would like Guitar Hero. You think so? Yeah. And, and Tony Hawk's Underground 2. No, he'd like Sitar Hero. That was the country. Sitar <laughs> Hero. Yeah. I think yeah. those like mass killers back in the day, if they, we just gave them Grand Theft Auto, they wouldn't have actually done in real life. I think they would have just got better got ideas. Got better. Yeah. 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 They would have been like, I never thought I could craft. use. A, I never thought I could use a golf club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they didn't like the nine eleven guys like use a fight simulator. It was a video That's game. How they taught themselves to fly, right? Yeah. That was also part of the inspiration to do that. So like, I think the video games would have helped Genghis become even more evil. Yeah, of all the games to have an actual body count, flight sim being up there is Ooh. rough. Uh, so we're doing Genghis Khan versus the PlayStation Two. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Who who was um so the PS2 had Xbox as a unworthy as competitor. A, who did yeah. Genghis Khan have? Every rest of the world was unworthy. Who was like the top emperor? Chinese dynasties. Yeah. Um, uh, this is what like the, Europe. What years are we talking about? His, Twelve hundred. His reign ended at the, when the Black Plague started. Yeah, it's like, like the the Mongolian Empire as a whole. Um, yeah, and I feel like he could curse you. Well, Kublai took over and also did very well. Too, did really well. I had an Xbox and I. I thought it was the same thing, pretty much. Now that I think about it, mm. no way you did. It was pretty much the same. So you're gonna go except with except you only liked they they the the what, games was they different. Had, they they was primarily Halo. Weren't the games different? Did you play yeah. Fable? Yeah, and I loved Halo. Halo and Fable one of the best games like, ever. I get that, but I'm saying like in terms of like but the the the, the, the was Tony Hawk's Underground was the same. I'm gonna go Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. I gotta run. I gotta go. I'm gonna go PS2. PS2 next round, and then Jordan. PS2, PS2 next round, then Jordan. Next round is uh, the finals anyway, so uh, Clemmer. Yeah, um, if, if this was against the original 8-bit Nintendo, I have to say the video game system, but it's not. Genghis Khan was uh, it was an innovator. Uh, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong, I guess. Uh, yeah, no, he's 100% correct. Genghis Khan. Oh, I was going to say the, the loading screen alone. Oh, so the loading just, screen alone, Nick. That just made me so happy. I'm sorry I talked. Great sound. I'm yeah. sorry I talked during it. Do it again. I'm sorry. I just got so excited. Good. I'm really sorry. Oh, Wait, wait for the secondary part. Oh. And then you're just controlling Sora. Killing that, people with Goofy. With that noise, you know you you're about to sit down. Let's see the Xbox <laughs> opening. Xbox is good too. Yeah, you know, like nobody even knows what that sounds oh, like. Man. Yeah, I know. I nobody know. It's good. It's good. Clue. It's good. What's that alien it's noise? Good. I want to listen. No, he, they have a good one. It's, it is legit. Uh, right? That's kind of fun. Oh, Wait, no, that's that's, that's, that's not it. Not it. <laughs> that's not it at all. Wait, this is it. Oh yeah, it was too aggressive. I did not know that was it. I liked it. I did oh, like that's this. Good. It's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> dude, you don't like I didn't even that. tap my toe, dude. <laughs> the other one, the PlayStation one sounds mystical. It's great. Yeah, what was that? Open to the world. Paper. What was the one that was like PlayStation? <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll give you one guess. Well, what was that? What, what was that used? Uh, what was that? When did they? When did they say that? Like PS One. PS One. Right. That was just PS1. Yeah. yeah. But I remember the, it more recently. I think yeah, maybe commercials, right? Commercials, yes. The Sega one was yeah. sick. When oh, Sega yeah. had a good one, yeah. Sega. The Sega. Sega. Oh, no, this one. The, or the, even the GameCube one. What did boop, boop, boop. Whoa. Yeah, no, that would be saying Sega in the commercial. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's, 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 that's fire. That's fire. Yeah. Was that? We had a good one, right? Remember right? No. It was groovy as hell. Their music. Yeah. Um, well, Nintendo GameCube was was good. What's GameCubes? I don't remember. It was the like making the logo. Yeah. No, the GameCube one was done. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was. Did you good. guys, we people. 
No, uh, really. my brother got one. I didn't. I had for like a little bit. Really. It's kind of aged I out. Never, I was too, but like you would like play tennis once and you'd be like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I understand bowling. it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. It's also exhausted. I'm, I wish I could sit down. Yeah. Wait, can we somebody play Game Game Boys? Oh, that one was good. Game Boys. Or was it Game Boy Advance? That had the really good one. I forget. Game Boy. I don't remember Game, Game Boy. Game Boys was. Like, like, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a PSP <laughs> person. I loved it. PSP, PSP was great. Best. <laughs> it was great. My brother looked up porn on my PSP. Everybody pulled big time. Yeah, uh, we talk about this so Everybody. often, but yeah. It's, it's yeah. the screen. You couldn't change it to vertical, so you had to choose whether you want to look at pussy or tits. <laughs> I was a tit man. That's how I realized. I, was, I like tits more than pussy. Ditto. All right. Ditto. PS2, we're going to move on. PS2. I mean, if you're comparing tits to pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the big debate? <laughs> the biggest one. Is this a pussy man? a pussy man. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Never met a pussy man. Yeah. <laughs> but, are, but aren't we all? This is, I don't think. No, no way. Not really. Who's like, yeah, pussy it. above tits and ass? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Who's that guy I posted the the European Aaron Rodgers looking dude who was like, "You must look at your partner's pussy. <laughs> we must glare at it." Probably you. That's a you thing. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> that's that's a probably you posted like, that. Oh I, yeah, no, I posted it. I was saying, oh, like, yeah. Uh, that's a population of one that time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Michael Boys, Jordan. why are we debating tits and ass when there's a third right there? <laughs> oh. Michael Jordan versus uh, the PlayStation 2. Nick. <laughs> what a Not all song. kids liked basketball. <laughs> but everybody yeah. liked, at the time, everybody was gaming. PS2. PS2. Oh, I don't know. Michael Jordan was transcendent. I mean... I... <sighs> you could play as Michael Jordan on the PS2. Michael Jordan's the answer here. I'm sorry. Michael Jordan in the 90s was... I've never seen anything like it. Michael Jordan? Rudy? Oh, God. Um, I I can't pretend like Jordan <laughs> man, has, you, was as big of a deal to you me. You say what you just text us. <laughs> Said p- pussy's the... It's the Kobe of the... <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> It really is. There's always one dude at the fucking barber shop. What about pussy? <laughs> can't forget about pussy. Can't, cannot. Ex- you can't exclude pussy from. I wonder the, if there's a the changing his number is when it went from like bush to shaved. Uh. I wonder if there's like a girl version of the bracket somewhere that debates that with guys. Like what do they even? What do they even debate? It's definitely not cock and balls. No. They're not in the pantheon. Um, yeah, we don't offer a lot. Yeah, we like nothing at uh, all, at yeah. all. Period. Uh, Rudy, I, I personally, it's it has to be the PlayStation. Michael Jordan obviously is insane, but uh, the PlayStation I think is just like a. I'll tell you what, Jordan doesn't have sequels. Yeah, he does. Who? Michael Jordan. Yeah, there is sequels. One he sequel. played here a three peat. He right retired, no came Michael back, Jordan and had two. another. There's three no Michael Jordan two that's also, better than Michael Jordan. Oh, he was too good to play in Space Jam two. Mm. That was a sequel to opportunity. Yeah, it was my, he got had the PlayStation three, it. which was possibly maybe a step down. PlayStation Big four, down. PS4 was, was good. great, incredible, great. Yeah. Right. And so, I, simply by that fact, I, it's hard for me to uh, take Jordan. I got to go PlayStation from a personal level. That was my. I, that was the first time I ever played a game online. SoCom. Yeah, SoCom like, three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the first time I played that. a game online, I was like, this changes everything ever. Mm. I owned a pair of uh, fake Olympic sevens <laughs> and wore them knowing they were fake for a year. So I got to go Jordan. I never owned, I never got a PS2. Two to two. You're going to break the tie for the finals right here. Mush. I think it's kind of easy. I think it is because I knew Jordan on the Wizards. Like that's how I, that's when I would see Michael Jordan. I didn't see in the 90s and shit ps2 was how you had friends you just like talk about ps2 ps2 you'd sit down for hours and hours ps2 ps2 wow sad day ps2 beats michael jordan (laughs) i mean it just beat genghis khan so Uh, celebrity runs wait did that win yeah (laughs) it's not a person not a person (laughs) (laughs) yeah <laughs> I just had to include it because you mentioned. It. Yeah. I was like, that's, that's good. It, it was a pretty great nomination. Wait, so Think Nick of like wins. the CEO of Sony and could have done like the, the telephone. Thing was, it was it was those three years incredible. Mm. So Nick wins. Nick, you are the oh, trophy. Yeah. Uh, next episode we're uh, starting. Yeah. yeah, next episode is the actual start. You're the winner of like the prelim trophy, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but that's the episode. We'll be back next week with a new topic. Thanks for watching. Yeah.